Makofi kwao, makofi kwao, makofi, makofi, makofi. Asante sana, the Salsa Group, trained by Kevin Tuway. We really appreciate your effort on this particular day. Now I would like to invite the Chuka University uh, Students Choir, trained by Dr. James Mwenda. They have two numbers, Bawo Thikso Samandla, Tunapaswa tuna Kushukuru. Two numbers from our choir trained by Dr. James Mwenda. Karibuni sana.
Makofi mazuri kwao, makofi mazuri kwao. Utukufu apewe Mungu. Tumesoma kwa bidii na sasa tunapewa shahada, tunapaswa kushukuru. Makofi jameni, makofi, makofi, makofi. Asante sana Dr. Mwenda for that. 
And now the Chuka dramas, now the Chuka dramas from the local community, you never disappoint us and we really appreciate you. Chuka dramas, kindly.
you very much Chuka Dramas. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Chuka Dramas. You are full of energy. We appreciate. I normally say I'm a member of this team because it doesn't have ladies. So I'm one of your members. If I was not here, I would be there dancing. Thank you very much, Chuka Dramas. Makofi Kwao. Makofi Tuwapigia. Makofi Mazuri. Makofi Mazuri. Thank you very much, Chuka Dramas, for that. The local community never fails us. They are friendly and we really appreciate. Our Chancellor Sir, that is the end of our entertainment for today. And now with your permission, Sir, allow me to invite the Registrar Academic Affairs, Dr. Samuel Macharia Chege, to continue with the program of the day. Mr. Chancellor, sir, allow me to invite the best graduating student, Ms. Teresia Jerry Budhia, to present her remarks. She will be escorted by her chairman of the department, Professor Charles Ochieng Obaka. Dear friends, our dear families, fellow graduates, good morning. I'm honored to be standing here representing the graduating class of 2022. On behalf of all graduates, I would like to thank you for joining us on this wonderful occasion. It has been a long journey full of ups and downs, but through resilience and diligence, here we are ready to graduate today. Of course, we made mistakes, but we learned from them. I'm inspired by one great African author and orator, Chimamada Gozi Adichie. She says that though we err, 
when putting in the effort, it is the intent and the context that should matter. We worked hard to get to this point, but we must acknowledge that we did not do it by ourselves. We are greatly indebted to the people surrounding us. To the Chuka University Council and management and staff, thanks, thank you for facilitating and providing a serene learning environment. Your unwavering support and efficiency have indeed made it possible to put on the gowns at the stipulated time. Allow me to borrow the words of our late President Honorable Moi Kibaki. Le leadership is a privilege to better the lives of others, and indeed, you have made our lives better. Ladies and gentlemen, in a special way, I, I wish to commend our dear lecturers. A big thank you for unselfishly sharing your time and knowledge with us. Yes, we know it was your job to do it, but what you did for us went beyond the call of duty. You demanded excellence from us, whether or not we wanted to give it. You set the bar high and challenged us to live up to it. You pushed us to our dreams. We shall forever be grateful. To our dear parents and guardians, thank you for your immense sacrifice in supporting us to the completion of our studies. You toiled and moiled, you walked barefooted under the hot sun and through the rain, going for less noble work, putting on torn shoes, clothes just to get us to, to get us school fees and comfort us in this saline environment. Your sacrifices fit into, cannot fit into paragraphs, nor th can they fit into chapters. We ought to write new books for what you sacrificed for us. May God bless you. To the graduating class, we start here on the precipices of the future. It is, a distant, it is not a distant reality anymore. It begins here today. We are leaving Chuka University having completed a level of education that will serve as a platform to launch ourselves into our future. Some of us will enroll for higher learning, others will go straight into the world of work, but each one of us will travel his or her own path. No matter where we go or what we do, there will always be challenges ahead of us. Remember the words of Chimamada, don't, fail, don't fear to fail. It is the intent and the context that matters. What I'm asking from all of us is to face these challenges straight on with our heads held high our heart, and our hearts wide open. We must strive to excel in everything we do and strive for excellence in every task, large or small. Although it may not be easy to see, every accomplishment you achieve is added to the world's accomplishments. Your individual successes benefit society as a whole when you because when you succeed, you, you lighten the burden of your fellow men. When you succeed, you are in a position to give rather than to receive. As I conclude, ladies and gentlemen, we, have, we may not have power to inspire the entire world to strive for success, but we have the power to achieve it for ourselves. Many ch my challenge to each one of you is to do all we can do to reach our full potential. The future is truly in our hearts, so let us lead and turn pages carefully, making us making use of every opportunity we find. I would like to add by echoing a statement from a scholar, Thomas Jefferson, on, mat on matters of style, flow with the current, but on matters of decision making, start firm like a lock. May God bless you all. Teresia Jerry Budia, Bachelor of Science in Mathematics, Best Overall Student 2022 class. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Chancellor, sir, allow me to invite the chairman of the Chuka University Alumni Association, Mr. Hassan Odoyo, 
to present his remarks. To the chief guest, cabinet secretary, Professor George Albert Omore Magoha, to to our the Chancellor Chuka University, the Chairman of Chuka University Council, the Vice Chancellor, our two DVCs, council members, the senators, directors of our schools. Deans of faculties, chairpersons of the departments, the invited guests, the university staff, the graduates and friends of Chuka University. Good morning. Good morning once again. God is good. And all the times. And that is his nature. Thank you so much. So Mr. Chancellor Sir. I'm pro profoundly honored and exceedingly humbled to speak on this 11th graduation ceremony of Chuka University. Dear alumni members, graduation to the university are a happy, sad day. We celebrate your achievements and at the same time sad that you are leaving the university, a university that has been your home for the many years that you've stayed around a university that has transformed you into a professional that gets into the job market to transform our nation and to transform the whole world. You are a student for a short period, but an alumni of Chuka University forever. Mr. Chancellor Sir, I take this great honor on behalf of the alumni members to welcome all the graduates to the great alumni family of Chuka University. Today you join a passionate group of former students of Chuka University, the university staff, all members of Goodwill, and um, who want to see Chuka University prosper to greater heights. The Alumni Association also recognizes you in a very special way. Because from today henceforth, you become our members. And we want you to stand with us and join us in a strong way as we move and soldier to transform the university, to transform the society, and become better people. Uh, all this, um, the, the alumni, all this notwithstanding, you are here wearing a beautiful gown and a cape. You have indeed lived um, to the great world marathon hero champion, Eliud Kipchoge, who said that no human is limited. Indeed, the success story and the bright faces standing in front of us is a testimony that every human being, regardless of where you come from and regardless of your father, or the social economic status of your people, you can make it. Congratulations once more. With your bright faces, it is indeed evident that you are ready for the world out there. Clearly. Well, a uh, very good morning to you and welcome to Chuka University. This is the 11th graduation ceremony here.
the cabinet secretary of education that is a professor george magoha the professor george magoha he will he is the chief guest here in today's uh, uh, today's uh, graduation ceremony here at the chuka university and this year's theme is the leveraging university education for a knowledge-based economy and just to give a breakdown of uh, some of the graduates who are who are expected to graduate today we have a total of 2815 graduates will be conferred with different degrees and of course awarded different diplomas and certificates and just to give a brief breakdown is that uh, for those who will be conferred with the doctorate degrees the degrees from this uh, Chuka University, we have a total of 12 of them, while those will be conferred with the master's degree are uh, 75, eh? while those will be as awarded postgraduate diplomas are 31, and award of certificates, those are, uh, we have 178, while those will be awarded uh, with the diplomas today, today's graduation will be 520, and we have a total of 1,999 graduates who will be conferred with the degree and uh, to give a breakdown in that is that from the Faculty of Agriculture we have 82 graduates from the Faculty of Business Studies we have 327 graduates from the Faculty of Education and Resources Development we have 614 while from the Faculty of Environmental Studies and Resources Development we have 102 and from the Faculty of Humanities and Social Sciences we have 532 while from the Faculty of Science Engineering and technology we have 305 and finally from the school of nursing and public health we have uh, we, we have a total of 37 graduates so by the end of this today we are expecting that a total of 2815 graduates who will be the graduates will now be called referred to as graduates will be going out there in the market to look for jobs and right now the function is on so let's cross over swiftly to listen to the speeches that are ongoing but remember that our sign language interpreter is very Let's proceed with the speeches for the next three hours here at the Chuka University in Tarakanithi County. Our way of the Alumni Association in giving back to the society and thanking the Tarakanithi County residents for the support that they have given the university, the support that they have given our staff, and the support that they have given our students. Because as a man of science, I understand that every person needs water every human being needs food these people as prophesized by our great prophet Jerusha Kanywa, that birds of the same feathers will come and converge these people have converged in this region and they have continued to enjoy fruitful cooperation and support from the members mr chancellor sir as a way of helping the new graduates and incorporating them in the society and helping them grow their career, I want to officially once again invite them to our annual Alumni Career Day that will be held tomorrow, that is the 15th of October 2022, at our Great Pavilion. Mr. Chancellor Sir, we have explored as an executive board to bring different corporates on board, those who we believe can nurture and mentor our alumni members, our new team, and be able to provide them with opportunities as we also encourage them to explore other ways of income rather than depending on the employment from our national institutions. So I officially invite you that we have assembled a team among them, the Kenya Airlift Program, UNICAF, Coca-Cola Company, Absa Bank, UiPath, Casneb, Corporate Career Academy, among the many other partners that we have brought on board to ensure that we help you to become better people as you transist into the world of building the economy. Mr. Chancellor Sir, allow me to sincerely thank the county government of Tarakaniti County through the governor, uh, Honorable Mudomi Njoki and his team for their support that they have continued to give the university and for their recognition for the products that the university produced that saw him name one of our alumni members into his cabinet. I want to thank the governor, I want to thank the county team for that good 
recognition of the youth. And I want to assure him that that particular youth she named into her cabinet is a hardworking lady who will transform the county with all our energy. Finally, Mr. Chancellor, sir, allow me to thank the former Vice Chancellor, who is just behind me, Professor Erastus Nyaganjoka, because, ladies and gentlemen, is why we are, is part of hard work, is why we are converged here today. Some of us learned here when the university was just a small university. We did not have these very confiscated structures and amenities that you can see around. And it is through his hard work, a gentleman, that he was able to, to steer the university. And when he handed over, he handed over an institution that is producing graduates who are able to compete in the job market. Mr. Chancellor, sir, allow me also to mention that our products are doing so well in the job market. And both nationally and internationally, I want to give a small story, Mr. Chancellor, with your permission. Just in the course of last month, I was in, a, I was, I, I was in the, uh, the United Kingdom. I was at a place called Wrexham. And as the chairperson of the Alumni Association, as the chief ambassador, I was having the umbrella branded Chuka University at a place called Wrexham in the Republic of Wales. I met one of our alumni members, Samuel Masharia Munene, a graduate of Chuka University, the class of economics and sociology. He is working with the Avanti West Coast, a train services that flies Wales to England. As I was struggling with an umbrella to purchase a ticket in the line, he spotted me and he assisted me to purchase the ticket. And I have to appreciate that our products are doing so well in the job market. I want to thank our staff for the tremendous work that we have continued to do. Because um, even when you look at the kind of uh, staff that we have, for example, in, in England, or in the Netherlands, where I also visited the other day, I am happy to, to, to report that our members are doing so well in the job market. And I want to encourage you, as you graduate, explore other opportunities and not just the national job. I also want to, uh, uh, to congratulate some of our executive board members who are graduating today. So one of them being Mr. Geoffrey Akoko, who is graduating with a master's student. I want to congratulate him in a very special way. I also want to recognize my executive board members who are also sitting behind me. And I will ask them just in one minute to stand up so that they can be seen. They are led from my far behind with the Madam Gertrude Njeri, who is my vice chair. I can see we have got Madam Esther Roby, the organizing secretary. Mr. Obed Kiprop, the treasurer, is also there. And also Mr. Victor Kuba. Mr. Chancellor, sir, that team has continued to impress. And we will continue to support the university, to support the vice chancellor, who is working now, Professor Dorcas Isutsa, who is, we know and believe, has done a good job alongside the former vice chancellor and will continue to do a good job and we want to wish her all the best and i want to assure her that as the chairman the alumni family is firmly behind her in her in her quest to her, to see the university succeed and to achieve greater heights finally i want to thank you all for coming our parents who are in the sun we appreciate you for coming to share this with us we are humbled by your presence, and I want to ask the living Lord to bless you, to guide you, to guide our graduates, and to bless the university. And I want to finish by a quote from the book of Isaiah, chapter 1, verses 18. The Bible says, come, let us reason together. Indeed, I want to ask everybody and all the stakeholders who are watching us to come and support the university. Let us reason together and take our university, our nation to greater heights. Thank you so much. Live, long live Chuka University. Long live Kenya. Thank you.
Thank you, Hassan. We are proud of you. Mr. Chancellor, sir, allow me now to invite the Acting Vice Chancellor, Professor Dorcas Isuza, to acknowledge distinguished guests present and then give a speech. Thank you very much, Dr. Sheke. Uh, our Chancellor, sir, I like to appreciate our distinguished guests that we have invited and they have made time out of their busy schedules to be with us here today. We don't take their presence for granted. As I mentioned, you stand your name and wave to us. The first one is uh, Madame Donada Kiplangat, our county police commander. I'm mentioning them as they are entered here in no particular order. Thank you, Madam. Mr. Joshua Kiprop Langat, our county SIPU commander. Madam Joyce Nduku, our county forest conservator. Mr. Kaduda Hirabae, our deputy county commissioner. Ms. Yunia, Madam Yunia Onyanja, our OCPD. Mr. Paul Saina, our SIPU commander, Chuka. Julius Kasiwai, our DCIO. Help me to hold, stand here with me. Dr. Esther Arunga, Director, Academic and Quality Assurance, representing the Vice Chancellor, Professor Daniel Mukendi. Professor Albert Mukambi Rutere, the Acting Deputy Vice Chancellor Academic, Laikipia University, who is representing his Vice Chancellor. Professor Romanus Otiambo, the Vice Chancellor for Meru University of Science and Technology. Thank you for being with us. Dr. Agnes Masi Waome, the Chief Executive Officer, Coops. Thank you for coming. Professor Peter Murungi, the Vice Chancellor of our very own newly born Daraka University. Professor Levi Musalia, the Deputy Vice Chancellor, Administration, Daraka University. Professor Veronica Nyaka, the Deputy Vice Chancellor, Academic, Daraka University. Professor Ken Mukambi, the Deputy Vice Chancellor, Administration, Kenya Methodist University. Engineer Elias Pusinye, Manager, SWML. Our County Commissioner, Mr. Norbert Komara. Thank you for coming. Patrick Munene, our Honorable MP, Chukai Kambangombe, where we are located. Thank you for coming. Our very own Reverend Felix Mutominyaka, the Parish Minister, PCEA Dakani. Cecilia Patrick, representing Director, Translite Academy. Madame Maureen Nyambura, County Executive Committee, Sports, Culture and Tourism, Darakanidhi County. Richard Arunga, Assistant County Forest Commissioner. Chandler, sir, those are the ones that I've gotten hold of. With your permission, Chandler, sir, allow me now to make my remarks. Our Chancellor, Dr. Julius Rotich, our Chief Guest, Cabinet Secretary, Ministry of Education, Professor George Makoha, the Chairman of the University Council, Mrs. Josephine Kitonga, esteemed Council members, the Chief Executive Officer of the Commission for University Education, invited Vice Chancellors and their representatives present, the deputy vice chancellors present, our county commissioner and your security team, the clerky and all religious leaders present, 
Then during JK leaders present, the principals and heads of schools present, our Senate and management board members, deans of faculties, directors, chairpersons, heads of departments, our dear staff and students, our esteemed graduates, our valued contractors and suppliers, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Mr. Chandra sir, allow me to mention that it is with great pleasure and gratitude that in a very special way, we are today celebrating the 11th graduation ceremony of Chuka University, which has since inception produced over 26,000 graduates. That is from 2013. They are engaged in many sectors of the Kenyan economy and beyond. We are delighted to have made this contribution in line with our, ma our mandate. Today, we are delighted to be adding a total of 2,815 graduates who have satisfied the University Senate as qualified for conferment of degrees and award of diplomas and certificates in diverse disciplines. To our graduates, it is with joy that we release you today to the world of work. We are aware of the many challenges that await you out there. Equipped with the knowledge, skills, and abilities acquired over the period you have been in Chuka University, rest assured that you will be able to overcome them all. You have cultivated important abilities values including entrepreneurial acumen, respect, communication, teamwork, and problem-solving abilities, leadership abilities, self-organization, perseverance, motivation, and impeccable character to thrive. Make these your constant companions in future endeavors, and you will be able to continue excelling and developing our country. Mr. Chandler, sir, the theme of this 11th graduation ceremony, leveraging university education for knowledge-based economy, has been carefully crafted for you to reflect on and to underscore what we in Chuka University see as the most important role of a university in development. The paradigm of knowledge-based economy in national development is angered upon the long-standing awareness that knowledge is the most critical input of development that has no diminishing returns. The four parameters of achieving a knowledge-based economy, that is education and training, research and innovation, a dynamic information management infrastructure for gathering, organizing, and disseminating knowledge, and creating economic incentives and institutional frameworks to catalyze entrepreneurship are among the hallmarks of Chuka University. The four, uh, these parameters are embedded in our decision-making processes and strategic activities of all facets of our business, including teaching and mentorship of present and upcoming leaders, research and dissemination of breakthroughs, implementation of innovation and other solutions to the mundane problems facing our society, community outreach and services, as well as promoting cohesion and other national values. Mr. Chandler, sir, our chief guest, allow me to enumerate briefly some of the milestones that Chuka University has achieved during the past one year. We have sustained development of the capital projects that are costing over Kenya shillings 10 billion at the moment. We have upheld prudency in administration of the limited resources available. We have embraced responsible production and consumption by balancing income and expenditure. In actualizing this, the management has developed an income generating 
activities and units blueprint and secured approval of the council and appointed a board to spearhead implementation to generate revenue to supplement the government of Kenya capitation. The management also finalized facilitation of the council to set up the university strategic direction for the short term and long term planning and released it to guide preparation of frameworks for short term and long term uh, future or uh, through our next generation strategic plan. The university has embraced noble philosophies like aiming and purposing to complete prior commitments and doing so well by making quality a matter of essence. The university has further secured the council's approval to set up an autonomous Chuka University staff retirement benefit scheme. And we have also secured the Retirement Benefits Authority consent. Previously, we were sharing with other universities. In a bid to enhance internationalization, the university bid won and launched the Chuka University UNESCO Chair on Conservation of the Environment and Water for Sustainable Development. The launch was officiated by the Secretary General for the Kenya National Commission for UNESCO who said that this monumental achievement will put Chuka University on the global visibility map. That is Dr. Evangeline Joker. Chuka University further embarked on implementation of the government of Kenya and Tanzania Joint Technical Committee on Education, MOU, by signing specific memoranda of understanding with the Mbeya University of Science and Technology and the University of Dodoma, both in Tanzania. Connectedly, the university is already partnering with over 30 other institutions located on all continents of the world. It has embarked on hosting uh, a Fulbright Scholar and a Kanaki Fellowship Visiting Scholar this year. On the other hand, over 20 Chuka University staff members have proceeded on postgraduate studies at partnering institutions, both internationally and locally. Chandler, sir, the management has also enabled uh, the university to win a national research fund supported equipment, the CAS chromatography, interactively coupled plasma, mass spectrophotometer, mass spectrophotometer. This high-tech equipment was commissioned by the principal secretary in the State Department for University Education and Research, Ambassador Simon Napukwesi, thereby formally establishing the National Academic Research Excellence uh, Center here at Chuka University, which is enhancing sustainable development of environmental conservation and renewable energy innovations. This equipment has added to others, costing over Kenya shillings, 210 million in place. The university hosted the Council of Legal Education Chief Executive, Executive Officer, Dr. Wambua Mutuku, who recommended Chuka University to bid for accreditation as the Advocates Training Program Examination Center once the venues are liberalized from the Council for Legal Education and the Kenya School of Law campuses. Chuka University participated in the Kenya National Innovation Agency and Lemerson Foundation study on contribution of universities to the national innovation system pathways to entrepreneurial and sustainable universities. The findings will fit into the commercialization and entrepreneurial institutions leadership summit to be held later this year. To this end, our dons individually or jointly mobilized close to Kenya shillings 178 million through research grants and greatly boosted the A in A mobilization. The dons also have had seven pumpkin varieties tested and approved by the Kenya Plant Health Inspectorate Service for release. This has been cassetted and they are ready for commercialization 
to generate appropriation in aid revenue. Chuka University was also elated when its constituent, the Raka University College, was awarded a charter on 2nd August 2022 and elevated to a full-fledged university. As I conclude, at the corporate level, the university has achieved deliverables in its performance contract by training staff, admitting many students, and engaging in corporate responsibility activities in the community so as to enable our students to live here peacefully and cohesively. We are promoting entrepreneurial mindset through technology transfer. We are also engaged in patenting and protecting our breakthroughs. We are promoting other milestones in line with this Mr. Chandler sir and our chief guest. Therefore, our thanks are due to all our development partners and especially the Ministry of Education and other government agencies for their continued support. We also appreciate the Farm Foundation that our founding Vice Chandler, Professor Erastas Nyakanjoka, left behind. Nonetheless, Mr. Chandler, our chief guest, the university faced some challenges, including high investment in capital projects that depleted our committed savings. And also, it was uh, subjected to the general harsh economic uh, times that are facing our universities and the economy. Therefore, intervention by the government agencies and other partners of goodwill are welcome so as to help us overcome these challenges soonest. On our part, we are committed to excellence in execution of our mandates. We are highly focused on prudent use of the limited resources placed at our disposal to ensure that we continue to produce fully baked graduates to contribute viable solutions to the problems that bedevil our people. I conclude by once more congratulating our graduates on this auspicious occasion. May God continue to bless them all. Mr. Chandra, sir, at this juncture, allow me to invite the chairperson of the council to give her speech. Thank you, Vice Chancellor. The Chancellor, Chuka University, Dr. Julius Rotich. The Chief Guest, the Cabinet Secretary, Minister of Education, Professor Magoha. The Vice Chancellor, Chuka University, Professor Dorcas Isutsa. Members of Council, Chuka University. Vice Chancellors of other universities present here today. Deputy Vice Chancellors the management board members, the deans of faculties and schools, the chairpersons and heads of departments, professors and lecturers, our dear graduates, staff and students, members of the press, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. On behalf of the University Council and on my own behalf, I take great pleasure in warmly welcoming all of you to Chuka University for this 11th graduation ceremony. I wish to confirm that the students who are graduating today have gone through quality mentorship and they are moving, to our, to, yeah, they are moving out to invest productively in Kenya and beyond to make good returns. Mr. Chancellor Sir, the university has been able to effectively deliver on its mandate because of the support it has received from the government and other stakeholders. We owe this day to the entrenched culture of hard work and cooperation among both teaching and administrative staff, the students and all other stakeholders who have worked hand in hand with us. I thank you all for the part you have played as the University Council, this event is an important milestone 
along the path towards self-sufficiency in skilled manpower to support national development agenda and secure our place in the wider world. Today's graduation ceremony demonstrates that the university has been successful in its business of teaching, research, and extension. It is proof that there is synergy in all university operations. We thank the founding vice chancellor, Professor Erastas Joka, who is with us here today. Thank you, Professor. We acknowledge the love and commitment you have for this university. We also thank acting vice chancellor, Professor Dorcas Itsuza, and the management board for successfully steering the university to achieve its core mandate. I congratulate the management for safeguarding and continuing to build the reputation of this institution. Mr. Chancellor Sir, Chuka University development would not have been possible without the cordial relationship between the governing organs. That is the University Council, the management board and senate, and this has facilitated close consultation on important matters and enabling the university to forge forward in its core mandate. I therefore wish to thank them all for their commitment to working towards the realization of our mission and vision as envisaged in the charter. Mr. Chancellor Sir, the theme of today's graduation ceremony, leveraging university education for a knowledge-based economy fittingly captures the determination and resilience of all those involved in the realization of this great day. A knowledge-based economy is one where organizations and people acquire, create, disseminate, and use knowledge more effectively for great economy and, and social development. It's against this backdrop that the university has been steadfast and keen in developing this agenda. We have continued to expand our physical and human resources by investing in the construction of state-of-the-art research facilities and recruiting skilled staff. In this regard, allow me to mention some of the projects which are ongoing and some are complete. Some of these are the construction of a 16-story administration faculty of law complex, which is worth 1.6 billion Kenya shillings. We have a model food science and technology complex at a cost of 300 million Kenya shillings. A male student's hostel at a cost of 1 billion Kenya shillings, with phase one already complete and in use. We also have completed a modern media studio worth 112 million Kenya shillings and a 3.5 billion Kenya shillings 13-story science and technology research park. This park, Mr. Chancellor Sir, will become a hub for research and innovation. The university has already acquired various modern equipment, which promises to be one of the most advanced parks in Africa. It will become a major incubation and entrepreneurial hub expected to play a key role in Kenya's realization of Vision 2030. The university hopes to welcome companies aiming to have cutting-edge technology advancement to conduct their research here and develop income-generating technology uh, projects. And let me just emphasize that again. We do want to welcome companies, organizations, that are desiring to have cutting edge research to, cap to partner with us in building this park. The university is also constructing the phase two of the main library at a cost of Kenya shillings 1.6 billion to guarantee quality education, research and linkages. And we want to thank sincerely the Minister of Education and the National Treasury for this continued financial support. Mr. Chancellor Sir, the other milestones achieved in the past year include establishing a research center on a 500-acre land at Kairene with demonstration units and a 15 million liter dam for irrigation, as well as commissioning a firefighting engine, which is also serving neighboring counties to prevent loss of life in fires that sometimes occur. 
To help journalism students get to get hands-on experience, the university launched a radio station, which is an educational 24-7 station and is able to broadcast up to eight neighboring counties. And to ensure this uh, meteoric rise, the university has continued to invest and recruit highly qualified and experienced dons, technical administrative staff. Mr. Chancellor Sir, in the same breath, the university en envisaged a harmonious coexistence with the community. And for this, we have come up with projects and models that address community needs. And through this, we have had initiatives to approve uh, livelihoods, for example, construction of footbridges, um, coming up with access, uh, bitumen access roads, a milk processing plant. Uh, we have supported relocation and upgrading of the chief's uh, camp and complex. And also the dam at Kairini is helping the community a lot. So these and many other activities have helped us to continue building warm relations with the community around us. Mr. Chancellor Sir, I hasten to observe that university education is undergoing challenging times due to a combination of factors. In Chuka University, we have taken firm measures to ensure that we remain on that growth traje trajectory as set out in our strategic and operational plan. The measures include enhancing income generating activities, offering uh, market driven academic programs to attract more students, and refocusing research to increase output. We de also disseminate and uptick, improving efficiency in service delivery. And we also embark on digital and blended learning to become major pillars of our business processing and delivery. We also adapt to emerging political environment and societal technology and legal and health context. I call upon all stakeholders to give support required for these measures to, inter to, to achieve all the intended objectives. Mr. Chancellor Sir, transformation in higher education is demanding actions to compete effectively in the global arena. And we can only do this possibly if we continue to have infrastructure that enables us uh, have international collaboration in teaching, learning, research, and student exiges. As a council, we are continuing to encourage our faculty to, to collaborate with the leading institutions and centers in carrying out impactful research that address societal challenges. Furthermore, we are embracing practical and multidisciplinary teaching and mentorship between and among institutions to equip our students with knowledge and mentorship and uh, ensuring that we get skills from diverse range of world perspectives. And as the Vice Chancellor mentioned, we have nurtured a number of collaborative uh, exchanges to make sure we are giving our students that advantage. As a learning and research institution, we acknowledge that we stand at the strongest vantage point in strengthening our country's policies and service delivery for the realization of Vision 2030 objective. This can be achieved if we join hands in improving quality of human capital and innovations. On this front, we wish to extend a warm welcome to our development partners and to complement our efforts in this endeavor. Mr. Chancellor Sir, allow me to observe that the greatest challenge facing university education in the knowledge-based economy, and particularly in Kenya, is underfunding, which is something that all ministries, I believe, and institutions are going through. With a shrinking budgetary support from government, universities have been left struggling to meet development and operational costs. As a council, we understand and are indeed aware of the need to look for creative and alternative sources of funding to supplement the government capitation. To this end, we are continuously encouraging and supporting the university management in diversifying its revenue streams to meet recurrent and development needs. We thus propose to enhance our internal efforts in generating income, and therefore we intend to establish a full fledged directorate of resource mobilization whose main mandate will be to engage strategic partners who can fund major development projects. The university is keen in mobilizing resources from donors, from the alumni, 
and research consultancies to supplement the exchequer capitation. I therefore urge the alumni to get involved in the university activities, bearing in mind that we do need their support. Mr. Chancellor, sir, the Chuka University is determined to rebrand and position itself as a world-class university. And we want to adapt modern standards in all business operations to attain the knowledge-based operational standards. On this path, we intend to work together with every staff, every student, and other stakeholders to realize all of this. We are focused on ensuring that students get a holistic education by providing a conducive learning environment and expanding the field for curricular activities. And to our graduates, on behalf of the council, I congratulate you. I implore you to take your duty as change makers of society seriously. The council has confidence in the practical education and knowledge and skills that you have been equipped with as you have stayed with us here. I am sure that you will make the best of the many opportunities that you will encounter and I wish you success in your future undertakings. Those of you with continued desire to learn, please come back for their postgraduate studies here. We would love to continue being with you. You have done us proud and therefore we celebrate you for the efforts, for the dedication, for the sacrifices and for the personal growth you've attained while here. God bless you as you start the new phase of your lives. Thank you. Thank you, our chairperson of council. Mr. Chandler, sir, kindly allow me to invite the chairperson of council to come back and invite our chief case to give his speech and also to recognize council members who are present. Welcome, Madam Josephine. Mr. Chancellor, sir. Okay. Mr. Chancellor, sir, allow me now to acknowledge uh, the council members. Can, we, can they all stand? I'll acknowledge you one by one. Okay. I'll start from this side. We have Dr. Jo Dr. George. He is... Okay. Then we have Helen. You can wave. Okay. We have Dr. Wahome Rureli. We have Ontiti. Thank you, thank you. So now at this point, I want to welcome, I want to welcome the Chancellor to be able to welcome the Chief Guest to give his speech. Oh, Mr. Mugambi, wave, sorry. Yeah. Thank you, the Chairman of the Council. I take this opportunity to welcome the Honorable Cabinet Secretary, Professor George Mohoa, to give us a speech. Welcome, sir. Thank you. Chancellor of uh, Chuka University, the Acting Chair of Council, 
all protocol as observed by many others. Good morning. Good morning. I want to start from a point of view of saying that uh, I do hope that since most of the universities in this country have the position of chancellor open because of the unnecessary bureaucracy in government, that the new government will expeditiously appoint chancellors to the many, many public universities that have no chancellors today. Mr. Chancellor, I want to start from the point of view of recognizing uh, Professor Erastus Njoka, someone with whom I have worked for a long time, someone with whom I had a lot of respect until the time he joined politics. <laughs> and I say so without <laughs> any remorsefulness because we must understand that in this country there are excellent technocrats like Njoka who have nothing to do in politics. <laughs> and I want to say that I am not complimenting him because he's my friend. This university was started when I was the vice chancellor of the University of Nairobi, along with very many others. And you can see for yourself what uh, Professor Njoka has done. He is not a thief and he has given the government value for money. My second point, ladies and gentlemen, does Kenya need universities? What is a university in the first place? A university is not a glorified high school. A university is a university. And I want to dare say that uh, Chuka University is in very good state for calling itself a university. There are reasons. I, don't, I, I am not usually persuaded by simple things. In the country today, we have a very big fat elephant problem of funding and managing universities. This university has managed uh, its affairs and is one of the very few that is not owing, not owing staff, not owing the pension scheme, and paying all its obligations. I don't want to give it a clean bill of health. <laughs> if it wants to get into the leagues of international universities, Mama Vice Chancellor, you did not tell us how much is your research fund worth. You have excellent academic staff. You must now organize them and train them to write international proposals that will go and compete for the money out there. But if you are still looking back at the research money that we have as a government, we'll be giving you 27 million or maybe 50 million. And I say this because when I took over the University of Nairobi many years ago, our research kit was about uh, 200 million. And when I did what I've just asked them to do, by the time I was leaving, we had Kenya shilling 5 billion. <laughs> Out of the budget of 21 billion, 5 billion was research money. That is what is going to underpin this university. It is not politics, it is not local politics, it is not national politics, it is not the, gov uh, the national government research kit. And I think since you, st you have started in a very good state, ladies and gentlemen, that is what I would want to say. And finally, about the university, the greatest disease we have in this country 
when a university is created in your area, all the villagers, all your friends, they bring their relatives for you to employ. A university, what it sold, is determined by the number of professors and lecturers in that university. And therefore, Chuka is still not the best, but it's in the right direction. Most universities in Kenya have 30% academic staff, 70% non-academic staff. I am not against non-academic staff. But what the hell are they doing in university? <laughs> because we have students, and you must have teachers first. Then the support staff. So Chuka with about 60 to 40 is not too bad. But the ideal is 70% academic staff to 30% non-academic staff. For example, you don't need to come to my office to make for me tea. What do I have hands for? Are we together? So this is not to pull you down, but just to say that you are on the right track and perhaps you should not apologize to anybody. The third thing I want to say about this university, and I want to start with the negative aspects of Kenyan universities. We have too many universities specializing in nothing. A university starts from the point of view of the problem that is having, that we are having in this country as a government. We cannot feed our population because of environmental factors. And maybe the scholars don't know that as we kneel down and pray money and preach money, you cannot eat money. As you cut down the trees and make charcoal, when you cut down the last tree and you dry the last river, it shall be too late for us to remain alive. So money is just a means to an end. In fact, money is like manure which is in the store, which is useless. So when I have been told that this university has focused on environmental conservation, I think you shall be blessed because you have gone precisely where the government needs you. And it is not by mouth. I was telling uh, Vice Chancellor Njoka that this generation is the Z generation. Because we have the millennial generation, which includes the, the likes of my son, who are about 30 years plus. We have a challenge of Kenyan nationhood. Why are we behaving like an indisciplined lot? Can somebody tell me why? Now I'm very happy because everybody has sat down and everybody is, is listening to me. But everybody was walking away, we get on another Pandi, we get on another Pandi. And then uh, the VC was telling me, oh, maybe they are hungry, maybe they are going to see their parents. I said, that one is for somebody else, not for Magoha, son of Magoha. Because if you have come to your own graduation, there is nothing special about you. You will sit down and graduate or stay at home. And this is a Kenyan disease. And therefore, my first charge to you is that I strongly believe as graduates, ladies and gentlemen, that your parents have sacrificed for you and I will pretend that I did not hear the Vice Chancellor saying that they have prepared you to go and be employed. This university should be preparing you to go and create jobs yourselves. There are no blue collar jobs. We are hungry. There is water stress. Who, is, who the hell is going to employ you? So I hope that as you are unskilling this uh, graduate, uh, Mama Vice Chancellor, don't just unskill them to go and get jobs. 
and skill them also to create jobs for themselves. And also, I didn't hear you saying that you are training them for beyond the boundaries. I don't mean Saudi Arabia, very firmly, but beyond the boundaries. That you can, now that the world is a small place, you can go and work anywhere else and remember to bring some money back home to support this economy. I think that's the way to go. But having said so, there's a much bigger problem with universities in this country. And I will, I will speak without fear of favor. It is true that universities uh, stimulate economy where they are situated. But does it have to be a university to stimulate the economy? The answer is no. So this notion of having a university in every township in this country is a political matter that I hope the current administration will nip in the bud before it makes our universities glorified high schools. Having been education minister and having been a university manager, I know that when you multiply the number of universities, definitely there will be no funding for them because there are, there are so many. So those universities that are going to survive shall be those ones that can have parallel streams of funding. And therefore, there are also people who are now towing with the idea of university funding board, which was created for a specific purpose. Since the university funding board was created, it was for a specific purpose because our funding system is faulty. And the first fault is this. I am not one of those Kenyans who believe Kenya is poor. Kenya is not poor. Kenyans are just corrupt and they steal from the till. We are not poor at all. So you don't have to say that as you are funding students, you also fund Magoha, son of Magoha's uh, bloodline. Why do you want to fund when I can afford? That is the first fault. Why do you have to fund my lineage when I can afford? There are people whom you should fund. So that's the first fault, and nobody is bold enough to tell the politicians to keep off so that the university funding board can do its work without interference. And therefore, the funding board has a very big fat problem of identifying a sustainable funding model which will only fund those students that need to be funded. Are we together here? Because if you give my my lineage money to go and pay, they'll go and use it to drink, and yet there, there are some children who require that money. The second point is this, the 16,000 shillings that was created is over 30 years ago, and please let us have a life. Let us be realistic. The value of 16,000 shillings 30 years ago is about 100,000 shillings. So I'm asking the vice chancellor, why are they so afraid to sit with their children and negotiate facts eyeball to eyeball? You want to bring politics in, in something that where there is absolutely no politics. For the three and a half years that I've been here, I have not seen a vice chancellor who has been bold enough to engage the students to say, you see, can we now agree that this contribution from the parents will be moved from 16,000 to 30,000. You don't bulldoze your way by saying you are going to take it to 48,000. But the students are also being most unrealistic. When I came and I was employed about that time, my salary was 6,000 shillings as a lecturer. Is there a lecturer in this group? The salary is not 6,000 shillings. So can we get a life as Kenyans and be serious about protecting our universities? Because every university is saying, oh, extra funding. 
there is no more funding coming from the government. And let me tell you why. First of all, the government loves uh, the basic education sector. And I can tell you why. There are about 14 million children there. So you don't touch them. And the government is already spending close to 30%, 25.9% of the budget on education. That's why I was telling my colleagues, don't go on strike now. Give this government time to settle down. Please give this government time to settle down. I'm not a politician and I don't care about politics. But I love my country. And I have relatives who also work in universities and everywhere. Give this government time to settle down before you start issuing demands. You person that talk about me. Oh, we want uh, this percentage, you want this percentage. Why don't you allow the government to even sit down for a while so that they know that the seats are not very soft, they are hard seats. And then you can start engaging them. My last point is this, as we go into the, into the unknown now, what is it that we as academic staff, including the new graduates, what is it that we can do in order to sustain our country in the pedestal that it is in? I said earlier that uh, many people talk about God, but you and I know that very few people in Kenya believe in God. Because if they did, if the majority did, things would be different. When you give yourself totally to God and believe in him, and he talks to you, then you don't have to be afraid of anything. You can, you can actually get anything that you want. But we have the so-called churchgoers who go to church. After church, they go straight back to the bar. They come from the bar, they batter their wives. The children don't see them. I love when I say, Mungu as a few. So my message here today is that uh, we have a challenge of nationhood where you don't look at the top for leadership. Look at yourself. The leadership must start with you as a person. <laughs> That's very interesting. So, ladies and gentlemen, instead of boring you, my charge to the graduates is that don't sit at home. I have been to all parts of the world. As a vice chancellor, I visited over 300 universities across the whole world. Every job is important. Washing a toilet is important. Being a security guard is important. As long as you have money to keep your body and soul together and to help your family. I have seen so many Kenyans in Japan, in the US, in UK, in Australia, doing every job in this world. When they come here, they don't even want to be associated. Oh, you see, I'm a graduate. I, I was reading a few days ago. I'm a graduate of one, two, three but I'm working as a watchman. You are a stupid idiot. <laughs> a watchman is a human being, and it is very respectful. It's a very, I'm telling you, if I wasn't a minister and I wasn't a professor, and my wife had no food, I will do everything, including washing toilets, to make sure that she has food on the table. So can we respect every person working in this world? And let us stop respecting crooks and thieves who steal our money from government and become heroes of the society. I would like to salute my colleagues, the lecturers and professors, and also to tell them what I told the teachers last week. Stop valuing yourselves in terms of money. You are far much more precious than money. Who has told you that you are worth a few, a few shillings? Mapambano can still be there, but stop valuing yourself for heaven's sake. That you are worth. When I came back to work for my country, I left a job of 237,000 shillings. 
and came and earned a job. I took a job of 6,000 shillings. How do I look before you? How do I look? Did I make a mistake? No. no. So let us put our country first. Let us also listen. There's something good that this new government is talking about. Let us stop being consumptive. Can we also save? And when you are saving, you don't have to save a lot of money. Just save something. Are we together? But we consume everything. It's like uh, people who drink uh, alcohol. When they have 10,000 in the pocket, they can't sit down until it is gone in the bar. The man is telling you, let's go, let's go, let's go. Tell the money to shut up, take it to the bank. So that is my advice to you, ladies and gentlemen. It's most likely that this will be one of my very last uh, acts. And uh, I think, having worked in the university, I'm going back there. And, and there is nothing better than seeing the people that you brought up doing better than you. Start, start with whatever you can lay your hands on. Don't go and burden your parents and relatives. If you can be a messenger, start from there. The danger with the Z generation that you are, you don't want to start with, if, if your father has a car, you want to buy the same as him. Find out how many years it took him to get there. And having spoken to you from the bottom of my heart, I hope some of you have picked a few things. We have a challenge of our nationhood, a challenge of our identity, a challenge of our values, and you have a lot to do with how this country is going to be over the next 50 years. Do you want to give up? So if you see somebody cutting a tree and making charcoal, you can do what they call a citizen's arrest. Are we together? Because it is extremely serious. If you must look for firewood, why don't you prune some trees and leave the one the other standing? If you have gone to Kitui and other parts of this country, you'll find that rivers are dry. And you'll then find that the most important thing in your life is not money, it is water. And some idiots think water comes from, from the rain up. The rain starts from down here. Are we together? As Antenni Sana, Mungo Avarika, and I want to thank you for having me invited me to come. Chancellor, uh, sir, uh, allow me to appreciate the wise words that our chief guest, our cabinet secretary, has conveyed to all of us, including the graduates. Chancellor, sir, allow me now to invite the chairman of the chairperson of the council again to come and invite you to give your speech. Thank you, Vice Chancellor. I now want to take this opportunity to invite our Chancellor to come and give his speech. Dr. Julius Rotich. Thank you, Madam Chairperson. The Cabinet Secretary, Minister of Education, Professor George Mohawa. The principal, I don't think we have the PS today. The chairperson of Chuga University Council. And the vice chancellor of Chuga University. Members of the council. The vice chancellors of Chuga University. Other vice chancellors and deputy vice chancellors and representatives of other universities. The chancellors who are here the management board of Chuga University, the deans of faculties, the chairmen of departments, the directors of directorates, the directors of campuses, professors, lecturers, our graduates, staff and students, 
distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. On this still morning, then we are doing very well. I want to start by thanking our cabinet secretary for the words of wisdom that he has given to all of us. I think he had a speech, but he actually chose to talk to us. And I think those words that he actually said are much more valuable than if he had actually read his speech. I think as Kenyans, we should start by looking at ourselves and saying, where are we heading to? What is our contribution as individual Kenyans? Why are we in discipline as a people? Why are we corrupt? What is the problem? We must start from there. Instead of pointing fingers to others, let's look at ourselves as individuals and say, what can we do to change what we are experiencing as a people? I want to say, Honorable Minister, all the way to the ground, Kenyans are behaving the same. Whether they are in Mombasa or in Lodwa or in any other parts of this country, we must change the way we are doing things. I work with the East African community and I was in Arusha. And every time our colleagues from the other partner states saw a Kenyan, they were very afraid. Very afraid. And I think this is when we must actually say we need to change the way we do things. You rightly observe that as we were listening to speeches of the speakers who spoke before me, we saw a lot of graduates moving around and it is true that we as a people have to change. We have to be disciplined. We have to be people of integrity. Many times I have uh, interacted with people in my local community. And when they come to see Dr. Rutich, they come to see a very big man, very fat, with very, very smart suits. And when you shake his hands, the hands should be smooth. But they get surprised because my hands are rough. I do wear, you know, working at time when I'm home. And I think some of the officers here, and I've invited the former vice chancellor to come, but he didn't come. He would have seen me working there. Because that is how you change Kenyans. You must be able to demonstrate and lead by example. And I want to request all of us, especially the professors who are here, you are great people. When others see what you do, they will copy the good things that you do. If you spend all your time drinking, like a few of my colleagues, nobody will benefit from your drinking. Thank you very much. I just wanted to respond to Cabinet Secretary's uh, advice, we take it very seriously, and in Chuka, we are a bit different. From the top all the way down, we are very different. I have, a, I have a, because I'm acting chancellor for the last five, I'm happy you, you, you observe this, because I was wondering why he was not given an appointment as a chancellor and not as a chairman of the council. But I'm happy you have observed this, and I hope in future we shall have substantive chancellors to actually lead the university. Uh, I want to read this speech so that I don't speak a lot. Uh, I'm delighted to once more join the great family of Chuga University, the only prophetic university in the world, on this auspicious occasion, to preside over this 11th graduation ceremony. I take this singular opportunity to appreciate our distinguished guests, partners, and stakeholders who have set aside their time to be with us. I also wish to congratulate our graduates who have worked hard to ensure that they complete their studies successfully, and they have been able to enable us to be here today because of that effort. 
Suddenly, their hard work, determination, and prayers have finally borne free. I sincerely thank the parents, the guardians, and the sponsors for the immense support extended to them to pursue their studies to completion. To our graduates, we are here today to affirm your successful training and the skills you have acquired. It is my great hope that your sacrifices and efforts over the years will bear fruits as you open a new chapter in your life. May you now go forth with great courage and determination to succeed. Remember that life is a chance and the person who goes farthest is the one who is willing to dare. I challenge you to dare and start a fruitful life. What you can do, begin it right away. And you have been given very good advice because you don't have to wait for somebody to employ you. Just create employment for yourself. For those of you who will be lucky to get employment, that is fine. But may I tell you, if you are self-employed, you will be earning every day. If you are going to be employed by somebody else, you will be waiting for a whole month before you are paid. And I think there is a lot of difference to those who earn every day. And that is why some smart businesses, businessmen are getting richer and richer because of this engagement. For those of us who chose to be employed, we have stayed where we were for many years. Let us not envy those who actually chose to do business themselves. Let us do it. Let the young ones also embark on this and work. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to observe that today's theme, leveraging university education for a knowledge-based economy, augurs well with one of the striking attitudes of the advanced economies during the last decades, which is strong growth in demand for university graduates and research. We are witnessing a long-term increase in the demand for both university graduates and research, which has helped transition advanced nation towards knowledge-based economies. Formal education, lifelong learning, and fundamental research are central to economic progress in the new world order. All levels of education in Kenya, including the new and rolled out competency-based curriculum, are important to the knowledge-based economy. And all are worthy of our attention and support. Our focus here is on universities, which through advanced education and research have special roles in allowing Kenya to attain wealthy and high standards economic status. We should not be comparing ourselves only to our neighbors. We must be able to compare ourselves to other international uh, institutions and countries. We must compete with the rest of the world. Ladies and gentlemen, the government of Kenya is well aware of the global trends and changes taking place in the education sector. As a university, we are firmly committed to supporting the government's agenda to ensure Kenya's education remains competitive and perfectly aligned to our national development goals and global commitments. The Ministry of Education is working closely with various government agencies to ensure that universities acquire and sustain effective capacity to be stronghold of knowledge generation, application, and quality service to humanity. In particular, the government is keen to enhance research activities to support the achievement of the Kenya Vision 2030. Towards this end, significant resources have been made available through the National Research Fund to support researchers and institutions. I wish to report that Chuga University is effectively mainstreaming and leveraging the Vision 2030 into its core business. We are continuing to partner with the Commission for University Education to embrace 
quality assurance and standards to ensure all academic programs are aligned with the requirements of the diverse labor markets. Ladies and gentlemen, growth in the knowledge economy is founded on discovery and innovation, and in which university research has a central role. There will continue, th there will continue to be a debate about the balance between the basic and applied research in universities and the appropriate degree of public funding for each one of them. We thank the government of Kenya for the support extended through diverse policy regulatory frameworks to support university education. It is vital to understand that it is precisely the distance of universities from the market that makes them such valuable collaborators with competitive firms in the knowledge-based economy. When the discoveries of fundamental research run dry, the innovative companies of the private sector have no fuel in their pipelines. While technology transfer and industrial collaborations are important, the knowledge-based economy as a whole will suffer if universities lose focus on the basic and fundamental research. I therefore applaud the University Council and the management and the Senate for remaining steadfast in pursuit of knowledge generation in this university. Ladies and gentlemen, evidence of growing importance of knowledge-based economy comes in large part from the relative growth and superior remuneration of highly educated persons in the workforce. A particularly striking example of the importance in the dramatic increase of the university graduates in the labor force are the past, over the past three decades with no corresponding decline in their relative income. Technological changes are driving demand for advanced knowledge and skilled labor and inspiring upgrading of the same across economies. The emergence of a knowledge-based economy has found a few notion of workplace literary, literacy, thereby changing the relationship between employers and employees. The traditional pledge where employees expect stable or lifelong employment would no longer apply. New ideas or intellectual capital, more than savings and investments, are the key to prosperity and to the wealth of nations. The importance of knowledge as a tool that could be used to achieve the developmental goals of a nation cannot be overemphasized. Knowledge is of decisive importance in the economic development of countries. That is why I want to advise our graduates that so long as they possess the knowledge and the skills they don't have to rely on anybody else to earn a living. Ladies and gentlemen, the ability to learn and interact with others, to learn from others, is at the heart of the individual success in the knowledge-based economy. I want to challenge the graduating class of 2022 to keep upgrading their skills, to leverage on the matching opportunities and fit in the knowledge-based economy. This kind of economy generates a strong demand for university graduates because of the very nature of scholarly activity in a university. Universities are special places because learning tech plays in an environment of research and scholarly innovation. You must be able to continue doing research and be able to publish the outcome. I wish to challenge the lecturers and other university employees to comply with what we know will move our university to the next level, and that is quality teaching and research. Today's top-notch jobs call for the one to not only, who do not only know what they are supposed to do, but to do and to be willing to do without any supervisor standing over them what they are supposed to do. Indeed, there is a strong need for all stakeholders put in, to put in sustained and outstanding contribution
to university advancement in this country. It should not be left only to the cabinet secretary and his uh, officers. Our dear graduates, as you join the ranks of nation building in various capacities, I should take this opportunity to remind you of the need to conduct yourself with integrity and to be disciplined, which is the foundation upon which all other values are built and is currently under great threat in our country. We have continuously told everybody that Kenya is 80% Christian. And I think the CS has been very, very, very clear on this. If we were really even 30% serious Christians, we could change this country. We must be able to change this country by doing what is right. I want to inform you that once upon a time, I worked with the Kenya and the Corruption Authority. And when we were there, we were not very keen on arresting people and jailing them. We were very keen on educating people about the challenges that are prone by corrupt behaviors. We were very keen on actually making sure that we involve the public in the various things that we are doing. At some stage, we decided to move out and even arrest the people who are committing those crimes, even, you know, on the ground. This is where we as Kenyans, we must be able to move and make sure that we change where we are. In all your endeavors, remember, so much depends on your reputation and character. These are very important, your reputation and character. Therefore, strive to be brand ambassadors of Chuka University. Wherever your career takes you, I urge you, each one of you, not only to follow the rules in your workplace or where you, you, you are engaged, but to also establish and firmly follow your own sacred principle. As I conclude, I would like to once again thank everyone that has contributed to making this day a success and wish all the graduates a lifelong, wonderful experience and a great fulfillment. I want to say we are here because of the founding members of our management. And I think a lot has been said about our former Vice Chancellor, Professor Erastas Nyega and Njoka, and his colleagues, he didn't work alone. These people have worked very hard to bring this university to where it is today. And I want to urge all those who are on the ground now, who are engaged in this activity, to continue doing a good job. Because when we do so, we shall actually help this country to move forward. As the CS has said, there are many other institutions who are started around the same time with Chuga University. And up to now, you don't even know that they exist. They get a budget every year, they get a lot of support, but nothing has happened. Leadership is extremely important. I want to say, and I want to repeat, that leadership is extremely important in every sector of our economy. Let's lead those who are working below us to do what is right, and we make a difference. May God bless you for listening to me. I wish you well, and may God take care of all of you when you go back. Thank you so much. God bless you. Mr. Chancellor, sir, allow me to call upon the director of the Board of Undergraduate Studies to present candidates who qualified for award of academic excellence scholarships as well as those who qualified to be inscribed on the Vice Chancellor's Roll of Honor for outstanding academic performance. Mr. Chancellor, sir, Chuka University Award Scholarship 
to the best first class honors bachelor degree candidates in every faculty. In the 2021-2022 academic year, the following seven candidates, whom I have the honor to present to you, qualified for the award of master's degree scholarships of Chuka University. I now invite them to rise, come forward, and receive the academic excellence scholarship from the vice chancellor. Pauline Wanjiku Kariuki, Faculty of Business Studies, Area of Study, Bachelor of Commerce. Liz Murugi Wawira, Faculty of Education and Resource Development, Area of Study, Bachelor of Education Science. Mary Wakarema Gidenduka, Faculty of Environmental Studies and Resource Development, Area of Study, Bachelor of Hotel Management. Kennedy Nyaga Ita, Faculty of Agriculture, Area of Study, Bachelor of Science in Agricultural Education and Extension. Amos Mutambi Muse, Faculty of Humanities and Social Sciences, Bachelor of Science in Economics and Statistics. Teresia Njeri Mbudia, Faculty of Science, Engineering and Technology, Area of Study, Bachelor of Science in Mathematics. And Brenda Nekesa, School of Nursing and Public Health, Area of Study, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Could, could, could the, 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 those whose names have been mentioned hurry up? Mr. Chancellor, sir, in the 2021-2022 academic year, the following four candidates, whom I have the honor to present to you, qualified for, to be inscribed on the Vice Chancellor's role of honor for attaining outstanding academic performance. I now invite them to rise, come forward, and receive the academic excellence certificate from the Vice Chancellor. Geoffrey Gaduku Mugure, Faculty of Business Studies, Area of Study, Bachelor of Commerce. Mary Wakarema Gidenduka, Faculty of Environmental Studies and Resource Development, Area of Study, Bachelor of Hotel Management. Amos Mutambi Muse, Faculty of Humanities and Social Sciences, Area of Study, Bachelor of Science in Economics and Statistics. Irene Wambui Muturi, Faculty of Humanities and Social Sciences, Area of Study, Bachelor of Science in Economics and Statistics. Mr. Chancellor, sir, allow me to call upon the Dean of the Faculty of Agriculture to administer the veterinary paraprofessional oath to candidates graduating with a certificate in animal health and production, as well as the diploma in animal health and production. Mr. Chancellor, sir, in the 2021-2022 academic year, the following 43 candidates whom I have the honor 
to present to you, satisfy the Board of Examiners of the Faculty of Agriculture and the Senate for the award of Certificate in Animal Health and Production, as well as Diploma in Animal Health and Production. Allow me to invite Dr. Mere Geshure, a veterinary professional, to administer the veterinary paraprofessional's oath on page 59 to the candidates on behalf of the registrar of the Kenya Veterinary Board. I request all the students who are graduating with certificate in animal health a diploma in animal health kindly to stand. I request the candidates to stand and repeat the following after me. I being admitted as a veterinary paraprofessional solemnly swear that solemnly swear that I shall dedicate myself to aiding society I shall dedicate myself to aiding society by providing excellent care and services for animals. By providing excellent care and services for animals. To alleviate animal suffering. To alleviate animal suffering. And to promote public health. And to promote public health. I accept my obligation. I accept my obligation. To practice my profession conscientiously. To practice my profession conscientiously. With sensitivity. With sensitivity, adhering to the professional's code of ethics, adhering to the professional's code of ethics, and furthering my knowledge and competence, and furthering my knowledge and competence through commitment to lifelong learning, through commitment to lifelong learning. So help me God. So help me God. Mr. Chancellor, sir, allow me to call upon the Dean, School of Nursing and Public Health, to administer the nurses' pledge to the candidates graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Mr. Chancellor, sir, in the 2021-2022 academic year, the following that the seven candidates whom I have the honor to present to you Satisfying the Board of Examiners of the School of Nursing and Public Health and the Senate for Confirmment of the Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Allow me to administer the nurses' pledge on page 60 to the candidates on behalf of the Registrar of the Nursing Council of Kenya. I therefore request the candidates to stand, light their candles, and repeat the following after me. Light your candles and repeat the following after me. I, I do solemnly swear, do solemnly swear before the Almighty God, before the Almighty God, and in the presence of this assembly, and in the presence of this assembly, to observe the nurses' code of ethics and conduct. To observe the nurses' code of ethics and conduct. I shall faithfully practice my profession. I shall faithfully practice my profession. In accordance with the laid down laws and regulations. In accordance with the laid laws and regulations. As provided for in the nurses' act. As provided for in the nurses' act. Cap 257 of the laws of Kenya. Cap 257 of the laws of Kenya. I shall abstain from whatever is deleterious. I shall abstain from whatever is deleterious. And mischievous and shall not take. And, sh and shall not take. Or knowingly administer any harmful drug. Or knowingly administer any harmful drug. I shall do all in my power to maintain. 
I shall do all in my power to maintain and elevate the standard of my profession and elevate the standard of my profession. I shall hold in confidence all personal matters. I shall hold in confidence all personal matters committed to me in all family affairs committed to me in all family affairs coming to my knowledge in the practice of my calling coming to my knowledge in the practice of my calling I shall endeavor to work in collaboration I shall endeavor to work in collaboration with other team members in the provision with other team members in the profession of health care and devote myself of health care and devote myself to the welfare of those committed to my care to the welfare of those committed to my care so help me god so help me god thank you thank you very much mr chancellor sir allow me to call upon the directors of studies, deans of faculties and schools to present their respective candidates for conferment of degrees and award of diplomas and certificates as follows. Order of candidates. Doctorate degree candidates, master's degree candidates, postgraduate diploma candidates, certificate candidates, diploma candidates, and bachelor's degrees candidates. Mr. Chancellor, sir, in the 2021-2022 academic year, the following one candidate, whom I have the honor to present to you, satisfy the Board of Examiners of the Faculty of Business Studies and the Senate for confirmation of the Doctor of Philosophy degree of Chuka University, Doctor of Philosophy in Business and Management, Gereda Ani Joki. Title of the thesis, Transformational Leadership, Human Resource Competencies, Job-Related Attitudes, and Performance of Housing Cooperative Societies in Nairobi City County, Kenya. Supervisors, Dr. Katherine Kaimenyi, Dr. Dennis Karioki Morevi, Dr. Geobert Mugambi Mereti. The candidate is requested to rise to be ordered and escorted to the dais by the supervisors to be conferred the degree. I admit you to the Doctor of Philosophy degree of Chuga University, for which you have been educated, trained, examined, and qualified, and by my authority and that of the entire university, give you the power to read and do all that appertains to the degree. Congratulations. Mr. Sanchez Lassa, in the 2021-2022 academic year, the following three candidates whom I have the honor to present to you, satisfying the Board of Examiners of the Faculty of Education and Resources Development and the Senate for confirmation of the Doctor of Philosophy degrees of Chuka University. Doctor of Philosophy in Educational Management, Kamau Redia Jeli, title of the thesis, Influence of delocalization of principles on duty performance in public secondary schools in selected counties in Eastern Legion, Kenya. Supervisors, Professor Nelson Oruoch Jagelo, Dr. Peter Kimathi Baka. The candidate is requested to rise 
to be ordained and escorted to the dais by the supervisors to be confirmed the degree. Start working. I admit you to the Doctor of Philosophy degree of Chuga University, for which you have been educated, trained, examined, and qualified, and by my authority and that of the entire university, give you the power to read and do all that appertains to the degree. Doctor of Philosophy in Educational Management, Mtuabirichi William Micheni, title of the thesis, Inference of 100% Transition Policy, Implementation and Management of Quality Education in Public Boarding Secondary Schools in Eastern Legion, Kenya. Supervisors, Dr. Eric Mwenda Elias Getale, Dr. Benjamin Mugambi Kanga, Dr. Peter Kimandi Baka, the candidate is requested to lies to be hooded and escorted to the dais by the supervisors to be confirmed the degree. the Doctor of Philosophy degree of Chuga University, for which you have been educated, trained, examined, and qualified, and by my authority and that of the entire university, give you the power to read and do all that appertains to the degree. Congratulations. Doctor of Philosophy in Sons Education, Kedeji Logendo Wairambu, title of the thesis, Effect of Metacognitive Learning Approach on Secondary Schools, Students' Achievement and Motivation in Mathematics in Kitui County, Kenya. Supervisors, Professor Marse Wanja Jage, Professor Nelson Oruoch Jagelo. The candidate is requested to lies, to be hooded and escorted to the dais by the supervisors to be confirmed the degree. I admit you to the Doctor of Philosophy degree of Chuka University, for which you have been educated, trained, examined, and qualified and by my authority and that of the entire university, give you the power to read and do all that appertains to the degree. Congratulations. Mr. Chancellor Sa. In the 2021-2022 academic year, the following five candidates, whom I have the honor to present to you, satisfy the Board of Examiners of the Faculty of Humanities and Social Sciences and the Senate for the conferment of Doctor of Philosophy degrees of Chuka University. Doctor of Philosophy in Kiswahili, Jero Mere Kanyua, title of the thesis, Usawili wa motivu za kimazingila katika tamthilia teule za Said Ahmed Muhammad na Timothy Alege. Wakiki wa kiikorojia. Supervisors, Professor John Mwithari Kobia, Dr. Doskas Mwendi Musimi. The candidate is requested to rise, to be hooded, and escorted to the dais by the supervisors to be conferred the degree. I 
admit you to the Doctor of Philosophy degree of Chuga University, for which you have been educated, trained, examined, and qualified, and by my authority and that of the entire university, give you the power to read and do all that appertains to the degree. Doctor of Philosophy in Linguistics, Mileti M.S. Kageni, title of the thesis, Analysis of Close Metaphorical Coherence in Gechuka Social Discourse. Supervisors, Dr. Nancy Wangui Baka, Dr. Hem Hemfrey Kiremi Ileri. The candidate is requested to rise, to be hooded and escorted to the dais by the supervisors to be conferred the degree. I admit you to the Doctor of Philosophy degree of Chuga University, for which you have been educated, trained, examined, and qualified, and by my authority and that of the entire university, give you the power to read and do all that appertains to the degree. <laughs> Doctor of Philosophy in Linguistics, Dumia Eraija Chege, title of the thesis, A Forensic Linguistic Analysis of Kenya Supreme Court Judgments. Supervisors, Dr. Humphrey Kilemi Ileri, Dr. Christine Atieno Peter. The candidate is requested to rise, to be hooded, and escorted to the dais by the supervisors to be conferred the degree. I admit you to the Doctor of Philosophy degree of Chuka University, for which you have been educated, trained, examined, and qualified, and by my authority and that of the entire university, give you the power to read and do all that appertains to the degree. Congratulations. Doctor of Philosophy in Counseling Psychology, Munyere Stephen, title of the thesis, Relationship between Delocalization Process, Coping Mechanisms, and Psychosocial Well-being of Public Secondary School Principals in Selected Counties in Eastern Region, Kenya. Supervisors, Professor Susan Modoni Kenywa, Dr. John Otieno Ogembo. The candidate is requested to rise, to be hooded and escorted to the dais by the supervisors to be conferred the degree. I admit you to the Doctor of Philosophy degree of Chuga University for which you have been educated, trained, examined, and qualified, and by my authority and that of the entire university, give you the power to read and do all that appertains to the degree. Congratulations. Doctor of Philosophy in Religious Studies, Wambugu Peter Murevi. Title of the thesis, Dynamics of Agrican Development Services of the Agrican Church in Enhancing Community Development in Kenya. Supervisors, Professor Dixon Konge Kagema, Dr. Linus Stephen Micheni. The candidate is requested to rise, to be hooded, and escorted to the dais by the supervisors to be conferred.
the degree. I admit you to the Doctor of Philosophy degree of Chuga University, for which you have been educated, trained, examined, and qualified, and by my authority and that of the entire university, give you the power to read and do all that appertains to the degree. Congratulations. Mr. Chancellor Sir, in the 2021-2022 academic year, the following three candidates whom I have the honor to present to you certify the Board of Examiners of the Faculty of Science, Engineering and Technology and the Senate for confirmation of the Doctor of Philosophy degrees of Chuka University. Doctor of Philosophy in Applied, Math Applied Statistics, Kashoki Peter Kinywa. Title of the thesis, Modeling plant growth based on condenser logistic curve, extreme gradient boosting and light gradient boosting models using high dimensional image derived maze phenomic data. Supervisors, Professor Moses Mahung Muraya, Dr. Gladys Kageni Joroke. The candidate is requested to rise, to be hooted and escorted to the dais by the supervisors to be conferred a degree. I admit you to the Doctor of Philosophy degree of Chuka University, for which you have been educated, trained, examined, and qualified, and by my authority and that of the entire university, give you the power to read and do all that appertains to the degree. Congratulations. Doctor of Philosophy in Botany. Jue Joseph Mgendi, title of the thesis, Effects of Agricultural Nutrients Influx on Water Quality, Phytoplankton Diversity, Abundance and Fish Biomass in Diva River Basin, Kenya. Supervisors, Professor Adiel Micheni Magana, Professor Eunice Wamuyu Kidai. The candidate is requested to rise, to be hooted, and escorted to the dais by the supervisors to be conferred the decree. Admit you to the Doctor of Philosophy degree of Chuga University, for which you have been educated, trained, examined, and qualified, and by my authority and that of the entire university, give you the power to read and do all that appertains to the degree. Congratulations. Doctor of Philosophy in Botany, Plant Pathology, Ogola Frederick Otieno. Title of the thesis, Prevalence and Characterization of Folia Fungi Diseases of Tomato and their Biocontrol Using Rhizospheric strip Streptomasses in Krinyaka County, Kenya. Supervisors, Professor Moses Mahungu Muraya, Dr. Benson Odiambo Onyango. The candidate is requested to rise, to be hooted, and escorted to the dais by the supervisors to be conferred the decree.
I admit you to the Doctor of Philosophy degree of Chuga University, for which you have been educated, trained, examined, and qualified, and by my authority and that of the entire university, give you the power to read and do all that appertains to the degree. Congratulations. Mr. Chancellor, sir, allow me to invite you, the chief guest, the council members, the vice chancellor, all the doctorate graduate supervisors, deans, directors, management board, and the doctorate graduates to take a group photo and then resume your seats. Kindly let us line up for the photo. Mr. Sansara Sa, in 2021-2022 academic year, the following 15 candidates whom I have the honor to present to you satisfy the Board of Examiners of the Faculty of Agriculture and the Senate for confirmation of master's degrees of Chuka University. Master of Science in Agricultural Economics, Sheriot Godfrey. Kamau Beth Wangari, Kieti Jackson Moshe, Kimeto Edna Jelono, Kenoti Glory Ntinyare, Kilolia Finis Kimakome, Mwaneki Porin Wawela, Wainaina Moses Gachoka, Master of Science in Agricultural Extension, Kenywa Frida Kanana, Kidome Lafael Wabua, Mwangi Mangret Jerry, Nyanchoka Lobison Ongela, Master of Science in Anglonomy, Kimkung Sam Kibet, Master of Science in Animal Nutrition, Kalanja Julius Maina, Master of Science in Horticulture, Kadulu Jacqueline Danu, please resume your seat and wait for the Chancellor to confer to you the degree. Mr. Chancellor, sir, 
in the 2021-2022 academic year, the following nine candidates whom I have the honor to present to you satisfy the Board of Examiners of the Faculty of Business Studies and the Senate for confirmation of the master's degree of Chuka University. Master of Business Administration, Entrepreneurship Option, Duita Teresa Modoni, Human Resource Management Option, Mustafa Nancy Karindon, Marketing Option, Buva Enid Egoki, Operations Management Option, Sepkonga Julian Sepkemoi, Master of Science in Procurement and Logistic Management, Kenya Jennifer Kamungo, Mayavi Perez Linda, Gordon Jenny Wanjiko, Joe Faith Kangai, Nyaga and Rose Inkirote. Please resume your seats and wait for the Chancellor to confer to you the degrees. Mr. Sanchala Sam, in the 2021-2022 academic year, the following 16 candidates whom I have the honor to present to you, satisfying the Board of Examiners of the Faculty of Education and Resources Development and the Senate for confirmation of Master's Degrees of Chuka University. Master of Education in Early Childhood Development, Boela Enned Chris, Mutua Lynette Kamene, Washuka Mary Wamboi, Master of Education in Curriculum and Instruction, Jacob Robinson Kenyatta, Nyaga Florence Wawela, Master of Education in Educational Foundations, Kauti Agnes Kendi, Kinya Charity, Kilui Benson Kipkoech, Mururu John Kidera, Masao John Zula, Master of Education in Educational Management, Jackson Lee Kilesiliko, Musioka Salamwende, Master of Education in Education Psychology, Madoka Amfre Kenya, Master of Education in Science Education, Bekedo Joshua, Joe Jero Murevi, Nyaga Ferris Gatueli. Please resume your seats and wait for the Sanchala to confer you the degrees. Mr. Sanchala, sir, in 2021-2022 academic year, the following three candidates who I am the owner to present to you certify the Board of Examiners of the Faculty of Environmental Studies and Resources Development and Senate for confirmation of the Master's Degrees of Chuka University. Masters in Hotel Management, Akoko Joffrey Aruoch, Magode John Kehio, Master of Science in Environmental Science, Marango Carlos Mwandiki. Please resume your seats and wait for the Chanchera to confer you the degrees. Mr. Chancellor Sir, in the 2021-2022 academic year, the following 17 candidates whom I have the honor to present to you satisfy the Board of Examiners of the Faculty of Humanities and Social Sciences and the Senate for the confirmation of respective master's degrees of Chuka University, Master of Arts in Religious Studies, Maitai Elizabeth Kathure, Mithari Moses Iruki, Master of Arts in Community Studies and Extension, Okongo George Okoth, Master of Arts in Criminology, Security and Justice Studies, Kipkurui Rotich Mosoti Dennis, Master of Arts in English Language and Linguistics, 
Mushili Dokas Kenya. Master of Arts in Kiswahili, Budi Paul Ithinji Mweti, Bele Cyprian Kithinji, Mileti Jos Josphat Eriud, Jeru Beatrice Nyambura. Master of Arts in History, Ikamati James Karevi, Kaaria Riza Nkrote, Kaburu Ridia Gasheri, Ogelo Wilfred Josek, Ongeli Dennis Odiek. Master of Science in Economics, Sepsoso Gok Vibian Lebon, Naibei Lemi Juma. Please assume your seats and wait for the Chancellor to confer you the degrees. Mr. Chancellor, sir, in the 2021-2022 academic year, the following 12 candidates whom I have the honor to present to you certify the Board of Examiners of the Faculty of Science, Engineering and Technology and the Senate for confirmation of the Master's Degrees of Chuka University. Master of Science in Applied Statistics, Ndeke Eric Munene. Master of Science in Biochemistry, Komen Johan Chepkoske, Master of Science in Botany, Plant Pathology, Gitari Frederick Mtembei, Maginyo Purit Kandambi, Master of Science in Computer Science, Kibara Peter Muduri, Mbae Oscar Karuga, Master of Science in Microbiology and Biotechnology, Ododa Kenneth Okoth, Master of Science in Physics, Kirimi Nixon Mutwiri, Muhansia Alex Njoroke, Master of Science in Pure Mathematics, Amenya Collins Sule, Kimeu Daniel Benjamin, Maraka Moses. Please resume your seats and wait for the Chancellor to confer you the decrees. Mr. Chancellor Sir, in the 2021-2022 academic year, the following three candidates whom I have the honor to present to you, satisfying the Board of Examiners of the School of Nursing and Public Health and the Senate for confirmation of the Master's Degree of Chuka University. Master of Science in Nursing, Kanana Faith Abori, Mongare Peter Nyakemwa, Murutu Juliana Nyamwe. Please resume your seats and wait for the Chancellor to confer you the degree. Mr. Chancellor, sir, allow me to call upon all the candidates graduating with the Master's degree of Chuka University to rise and remain standing until the Chancellor has conferred to them the degree. Kindly rise up. Thank you. I admit the person's name to the respective master's degree of Chuka University, for which you have been educated, trained, examined, and qualified, and by my authority and that of the entire university, give you the power to read and do all that appertains to the degree. Mr. Sanchez Asa, in the 2021-2022 academic year, the following that one candidates whom I have the honor to present to you, satisfying the Board of Examiners of the Faculty of Education and Resource Development and the Senate for one of the postgraduate diploma of Chuka University. 
postgraduate diploma in education, distinction, Jeb Kosgei Edna, Kibuva Shedrek Mumo, Makena Dolis, Usunku Peter Motegi, Murev Mark Rogers Mwenda, Credit, Budi, Chege, Chelangat, Chemgetich, Kasheli, Kitale, Osea, Kakui, Kamau, Kimani, Kiremi, Mbogo, Buba, Mugambi, Muya, Munene, Munyi, Murethi, Murioki, Mweti, Ndeke, Ngamini, Jage, Joe, Liongo, Sitienei. Please remain studying until the Sanchal has awarded you the postgraduate diploma in education of Chuka University. Acting on the powers conferred by the University's Act of 2012, and knowing that you have satisfied the University's Senate in all subjects in which you are enrolled, trained, and examined, it gives me great pleasure to award you the postgraduate diploma in education of Chuga University. Mr. Chancellor Sir, in the 2021-2022 academic year, the following 178 candidates whom I have the honor to present to you satisfy the Board of Examiners in all the faculties and the Senate for the award of certificates of Chuka University. Certificate in Animal Health and Production on page 10. Certificate in Business Management on page 11. Certificate in Procurement and Logistic Management on page 11. Certificate in Early Childhood Development on page 11. Certificate in Hospitality and Tourism Management on page 12. Certificate in Community Development on page 12. Certificate in Criminology and Security Studies on page 13. Certificate in Disaster Management on page 13. Certificate in Leadership and Public Administration on page 13. Certificate in Project Planning and Management on page 13. Certificate in Social Work on page 14. And Certificate in Computer Science on page 14. Mr. Chancellor, sir, allow me to call upon all the candidates graduating with the certificates of Chuka University to rise and wait for the Chancellor to award to them the certificates. Please, candidate, you can stand up. Acting on the powers conferred by the University's Act of 2012, and knowing that you have satisfied the University's Senate in all subjects in which you are enrolled, train and examine, it gives me great pleasure to award you the prospective certificates of Chuka University. Mr. Chancellor Sa, in the 2021-2022 academic year, the following 520 candidates whom I have the honor to present to you satisfy the Board of Examiners in all the faculties and the Senate for award of the diplomas of Chuka University. Diploma in Animal Health and Production on page 15. Diploma in Accounting on page 15. Diploma in Business Management on page 16. Diploma in Human Resource Management on page 17. Diploma in Insurance and Risk Management on page 17. Diploma in Procurement and Logistics Management on page 17 and 18. Diploma in Education in Early Childhood Development on page 18. Diploma in Education Primary Option on page 19. Diploma in Education Secondary Option on page 19. 
Diploma in Tourism and Hospitality Management on page 19. Diploma in Community Development on page 20. Diploma in Counseling Psychology on page 20 and 21. Diploma in Criminology and Security Studies on page 21 and 22. Diploma in Disaster Management on page 22. Diploma in Journalism and Mass Communication on page 22. Diploma in Leadership and Public Administration on page 22. Diploma in Project Planning and Management on page 23. Diploma in Social Work on page 23. And Diploma in Computer Science on page 24. Mr. Chancellor Sir, allow me to call upon all the candidates graduating with diplomas of Chuka University to rise and wait for the Chancellor to award to them the diplomas. Acting on the powers conferred by the Universities Act of 2012, and knowing that you have satisfied the University's Senate in all subjects in which you are enrolled, trained, and examined, it gives me great pleasure to award you the respective diploma of Chuga University. <laughs> Mr. Chancellor Sir, in the 2021-2022 academic year, the following 82 candidates whom I have the honor to present to you satisfy the Board of Examiners of the Faculty of Agriculture and the Senate for confirmation of Bachelor's Degrees of Chuka University. Bachelor of Science in Agribusiness Management, Second Class Honors, Upper Division, Kipchumba, Kiprotish, Muturi, Mwanduka, Nyambula, Second Class Honors, Lower Division, Sherimo, Shubi, Kamau, Mwangi, Gogi, Bachelor of Science in Agriculture, Second Class Honors, Upper Division, Manda, Second Class Honors, Lower Division, Akongo, Gekundi, Kimani, Kipkemoi, Kilungu, Mogeni, Nyamboga, Ouma, Pass Yagan, Bachelor of Science in Agricultural Economics, Second Class Honors, Upper Division, Macharia, Second Class Honors, Lower Division, Cheyen, Gachanja, Jeb Kosgei, Kiprotich, Mwaola, Jogona, Odiambo, Wajilo, Pach, Kimnetish, Wainaina, Bachelor of Science in Agricultural Education and Extension. First Class Honors, Ita Kennedy Nyaga, Kyoko Steven. Second Class Honors, Upper Division, Bilonyent Des, Shesimet, Ileli, Kamande, Kiilu, Kip Turmet, Mululu, Mwishuiri, Mwiti, Ngetish, Odiambo, Liongo, Wangari. Second class honors, lower division. Ake, Shelono, Esitemi, Gekonyo, Kalani, Koina, Kosgei, Maio, Manyasi, Mawela, Ogam, Oganda, Ba, Owol, Lengeluk, Pass, Shepo, Isho, Kenyanya, Kibet, Onyango, Wasilwa. Bachelor of Science in Animal Science. Second Class Honors, Upper Division, Bluma. Second Class Honors, Lower Division, Shomba, Ilungu, Kipkului, Nambuile, Jologe, Owiti. Bachelor of Science in Food Science and Technology. Second Class Honors, Upper Division, Karioki, Mualambu, Wawelo. Second Class Honors, Lower Division, Marita, Masakwe, Nganga, Paul, Santana. Bachelor of Science in Horticulture. Second Class Honors, Lower Division, Mwangi, Pass, Kipto, 
Manyisa. Please resume your seats and wait for the Chancellor to confer to you the degrees. Mr. Chancellor, sir, in the 2021-2022 academic year, the following 327 candidates whom I have the honor to present to you satisfy the Board of Examiners in the Faculty of Business Studies and the Senate for confirmation of the bachelor's degrees of Chuka University. Bachelor of Commerce, Accounting Option, First Class Honors, Mori Faithi Siokau, Omondi Tobias Owino, Second class honors, upper division. Aringo, Itumo, Kendi, Kyoko, Kipkoech Kevin, Kipkoech Vincent, Maina, Mala, Makaburu, Monyoki, Musioka Andrew, Musioka Eric, Mutiso, Mutesia, Mutua Elizabeth, Mutua Joyce, Dalana, Njiro, Nyanji, Odiambo, Odeo, Wambua. Second class honors, Rua Division. Kipragat, Boro, Mwangi, Ogoro, Wafula, Maina. Banking and Finance Option, first class honors. Karioki, Porin, Wanjiko, Kimemia, Redia, Nyokabi, Maina, Elizabeth, Warugoro, Mugore, Joffre, Kathoko, Waiego, Esther, Rina, Jerry. Second class honors, upper division. Amere, Cheregat, Emmanuel, Gidaiga, Kare, Kakai, Kibara, Kinoti, Kyoko, Kipkoech, Kipuragat, Itonga, Kitu, Kwambai, Maina, Makao, Maroa, Maruve, Madembe, Bula, Ntwaidarari, Muteti, Motua, Motugi, Mwangi, Ndongo, Gure, Jage, Jogu, Nyaga, Jomo, Oino, Sang, Simba, Simio, Dumbi, Wambua, Wanjiko. Second class honors, Rua Division. Arivinza, Sepkwone, Idai, Zerop, Kamanza, Kamau, Karisa, Katumi, Kironzi, Kipkrui, Kirui, Charo, Lagati, Morara, Mwoka, Moremi, Mudoi, Mutinda, Mutotua, Mutueri, Wanazomo, Mwaka, Mwangi Francis, Mwangi Solomon, Ndicho, Gu, Nyangau, Oduo, Ogero, Otieno, Waibera, Wanjiku, Paz, Adira, Shepgotich, Momanyi, Human Resource Management Option, Second Class Honors, Upper Division, Karemi, Kagari, Mwangi, Dongo, Okinyi, Second Class Honors, Rural Division, Kangangi, Mutumo, Baka, Insurance and Risk Management Option, First Class Honors, Mato, Matoroki, Ariet, Nyanchana, Maranga, Boniface, Ombati, Second Class Honors, Upper Division, Sepkoge, Mose, Muraimo, Murioki, Mosenya, Mutinda, Odiambo, Oduori, Ondigi, Osoro, Waki, Wambua, Second Class Honors, Rural Division, Loy Koloi, Muiverero, Ntenga, Nyango, Odinga, Ongeri, Pass, Jeru, Management Science Option, Second Class Honors, Upper Division, Mohindi, Wamboi, Marketing Option, Second Class Honors, Upper Division, Kenya, Ohuma, Viga, Wanjiro, Wateto, Second Class Honors, Rural Division, Kenya, Moredi, Saori. Procurement and Logistic Management, Second Class Honors, Upper Division, Masse Oduo. Second Class Honors, Rural Division, Irongo, Birolo, Micheni, Michobo, Muirore, Murega, Gubao, Nkoroi, Nyawera, Wasike. Bachelor of Cooperative Management, First Class Honors, Joke Immaculate Wanjera. Second Class Honors, Upper Division, Betty. Charagat and Charagat Faith, Chepkeno, Chariot, Chui, Usigo, Jemtai, Karanja, Kyoko, Congo, Maina Ruth, 
Maina Samuel Muinde Mulage Delito Wachera Wadene Second Class Honors Law and Division Cherotich Karweda Watenge Kyarie Kenudia Kipragat Kiroko Langat Mirembe Moracha Muranga Mudoni Jage Nyongesa Onyanga Sopai Warotere Bachelor of Entrepreneurship and Enterprise Management First Class Honors Owiti Ezekiel Tyson Second Class Honors Upper Innovation Ehola Katunge Maina Musambi Mutegi Dahuri Jogona Oduo Omondi Wamoe Wanjoi Second Class Honors Lower Division Agwenis Charanga, Christine, Gitao, Kareli, Kiparus, Makenye, Munene, Musumba, Mwangi, Mwendwa, Dilango, Omanya, Seme. Bachelor of Purchasing and Supplies Management, Second Class Honors Law Division. Lagati, Bure, Pass, Karogu. Bachelor of Procurement and Logistic Management, First Class Honors, Changa, Angela, Mwekari, Kadure An, Mwai Salome Wanjiru, Second Class Honors Upper Division, Acharei Atera Awo Cherere Fatuma, Gachimo Jamano Gicharo Gidere, Gitonga Aji Joan Kakinya Kamandi Kamau, Kasiva Kigen Kenyanjui Kenywa Kipchumba, Kuria Laban Matano, Madeka Bai Bogwa. Mireri, Mugambi, Muya, Makai, Murei, Murere, Munyashia, Mwoki, Murigi, Musiri, Muteti, Mudoni, Mutua Faith, Mutua Kendi, Mwangi, Agatha, Mwangi Esther, Muita, Diema, Gatia, Ngoa, Jenga, Njero, Njiro, Ochiago, Odero, Ogaro, Ogoma, Okeo, Odeli, Otieno, Ouma, Paul, Seo, Sila, Simio, Siori, Soita, Tegecha, Wako, Wabua, Wanjiro. Second Class Honors, Law and Division. Bo, Chomba, Diva, Widira, Eid, Karioki, Kibaba, Kibo, Kipiegon, Gidoka, Kome, Rotorim, Madenge, Moranga, Muya, Mwangi, Navea, Degwa, Duta, Getich, Gige, Jero, Zyuko, Ochieng, Odiambo, Odiek, Oduko, Onyango, Otieno, Dominic, Otieno, Penina. Simoto, Wanjiko, Zimbia, Please resume your seats and wait for the Chancellor to confer to you the degrees. Mr. Sanchala Sam, in the 2021 2022 academic year, the following 614 candidates, whom I have the honor to present to you, satisfying the Board of Examiners of the Faculty of Educational Resources Development and the Senate for Confirmment of the Bachelor's Degrees of Chuka University. Bachelor of Education Arts, First Class Honors, Chepkilui Anifa, Kiduku Samuel Nganga, Kamene Margaret, Mailo Valentine Mwekali, Buya Alvina Anyango, Muchomba Erejo Egetia, Mukami Asunta Nyambula, Mutuma Elias, Mwailo Salen Wangale, Goge Pile Tuawela, Joki Mere Wanjiko, Nyanumba Mori Nyaboke, Ojuang Sal Okech, Waungo Barak Kudu, Second Class Honors Upper Division, Abunga, Anyona, Atieno, Atudo, Avigoke, Bero, Bikeri, Bisonga, Boith, Chebet, Chege, Chelangat, Chelimo,
Chemosin, Chepkemei, Chepkemoi Diana, Chepkemoi Gloria, Chepkemoi Mase, ID 36108, Chepkemoi Mase, ID 36179, Chepkemoi Shalon, Chepkiliu Purete, Chepkiliu Viona, Chepkolil, Chelelin, Chelono, Chelotich, Chisama, Kasheli, Gaki, Gao, Kataka, Katueli Peace, Katueli Purity, Kichobi, Kichuki, Gikubia, Gilai, Gitau, Kitonga Kelvin, Kivenji, Kitonga Lewis, Mwambia, Enle, Egoki, Eleli, Chepkeboy, Sheila, Chepkeboy, Von, Juma, Juma, Jenda, Namalwa, Juma, Welbeck, Piatik, Kabelia, Kabu, Kabugi, Kagweria, Kaimenyi, Kaimuri, Kainga, Karunge, Kamau James Mwangi, Kamau Susan Nyambula, Kambula, Kamwala, Kananu, Kangai, Kanogo, Karanja, Karicho, Karimi, Karioki Alex Mwangi, Karioki Anita Kananu Jevio, Karioki Karo Jacinta Wajiro, Karioki Steven Mwangi, Karweda, Kadambi Dolin, Kadambi Doles Murudi, Kadambi Florin, Kaula, Kendi Molin, Kedwin Friend, Ka Kakali, Kiambia, Kianga, Kibila, Kibuchi, Kibuda, Kilemi, Kirisia, Kiruti, Kimunyi, Kinya Anjoy, Kinya Jennifer Simon, Kima, Kinya Maso, Kinya Jui, Kenya Esther Wangui, Kenya Joy Mudoni, Kenya Lynette Mwende, Kenya Nelson Mwaniki, Kip Kosgei, Kip Sigon, Kirui, Kitewo, Kidenji, Kiduka, Kivindu, Kogoyo, Koril, Kipto, Kwamboka Lael Kemunto, Kwamboka Sidney Manula, Chalo Langat, Leparat, Lubasi, Maeke, Maina Catherine Mudoni, Maina Immaculate Nyambula, Maina Maso Wanjiko, Makena, Marak, Manot, Maosa, Malangu Else Kaimuli, Malangu Elek Joe, Malite Masinde, Masoso Mbabu, Bogwa, Burugo, Mengich, Michael, Midika, Musonik, Mushege, Mushili, Muema, Muendo, Mugo, Muimi, Mulefu, Muronsi, Mulwa, Mumbua, Munene, Mungai, Munyi, Murage, Murethi Catherine Wamaida, Murethi Eren Mukami, Murethi Dennis Frederick, Murio, Murioki, Murudi, Musao, Musembi, Musioka, Musiona, Mutea, Mutegi, Mudhi, Mudhoni, Mudhui, Mutinda, Mutua, Mutunga, Mutongi, Mutuli, Mwangi, Karura Ngedhigia, Mwangi, Erio Diluga, Mwangi, Grades Wajilo, Mwangi, Ruse Jeli, Mwaneki, Mwadhi, Mwaula, Mwendwa, Mwikali, Naitole, Nasome, Delitu, Donga, Duku, Dungo, Duta, Gacha, Gachwet, Ngeno, Geso, Ngige, Godi, Gubi, Gute, Guyo, Jage, Jeli, Jelo, Irene Mukami, Jelo, Jesse Nyaga, Jelo, Lindia Mukami, Jilo, Johnson Mulage, Jilo, Lilian Mumbi, Jogu, Joka, Joe, Nkada, Nkwase, Nyaboga, Nyabuto, Nyaga, John Madhi Mukundi, Nyaga, Redia Murugi, Zioki, Obukoli, eh, Ochako, Ocheng Dolina Tieno, Ocheng Nicholas Oromo, Ogalo, Okemwe, Okeri, Ogolo, Onyango Arnold Ocheng, Onyango Vivian Akinyi, Otieno, Nelin, Libudi, Liongo, Lugendo, Lugut, Luto, Luanda, Sami, Simiu, Soi, Diongo, Wachila, Wafula, Wabua, Janet Muleche, Wambua, Masi Mino, Wabogo, Wadeli, Wanini, Wajila, Wajilo, Wekesa, Wekulo, Wedot, William, Zabron, Second Class Owners Lower Division, Abaya, Adru, Onyango, Apelengole, Biegon, Budi, Biegon, Chelangat, Fanse, Chelangat, Mase, Chelelego, Chemtai, Chemtai, Chepkemoi Karen, Chepkemoi Cynthia, Chepko Giso, Chepto, Chelono, Chomba, Devin, Gatueli, Gitonga, Ilongo, 
James Kaburu Kabwe Karonso Kamunye Kamwala Karambu Karemi Karedi Karumba Karweda Kadoni Kadure Kristin Francis Kadure Emily Kaduri Kaunyangi Kawera Kenyanya Armin Kianila Kibet Kidia Kimani Kimtai Osea Kiwetich Kimtai Wini Jelagat Kipkului Bran Kipkului Nimlot Kiprimo Kipnyetich Kiprono Kipta Bay Kiptui Kiptum Kirema Kirea Kiremi Kome Kosgei Kurui Leke Press Lelei Lobusi Loboti Lulia Maina Makena Maweo Mbaka Mbaya Bete Me Me Melo Ntomunolu Ntuanangat Mokaya Muse Musemi Mugendi Mukami Mukulia Munyasia Murethi Murioki Murethi Murunge Musao Musioka Musioki Mutanu Mutembei Muthi Muthuri Mutesia Mutuli Mutueli Fortune Mukami Mutueli Joel Mwangi Mudhombe Diema Diga Ngewa Ikondembas Jelo Nkonge Kumum Nyabuto Nyaga Beatrice Mombi Nyaga Beto Wajilo Nyaga Kriv Mwila Nyakundi Oduo Oike Okumu Ombeka Obilo Onyango Orangi Otieno Ruto Siele Steven Jolie Gatueli Steven Winfriend Gasheli Swai Taek Taek Tole Linyang Tom Wambua Wangoi Watetu Pass Mwaniki Bachelor of Education Early Childhood Development First Class Honors Mule Telesia Ouso Josephine Atieno Dhala Jacqueline Wangali Second Class Honors Upper Division Ileli Sisile Gaki Ileli Frola Wanjilu Mwogo Jogona Second Class Honors Lower Division Mwendoa Bachelor of Education Primer Option Second Class Honors Upper Division Kaburu, Kairudi, Burugo, Mekali, Mireti, Murioki, Deke, Nkabo, Duni, Liongo. Bachelor of Education Science, First Class Honors, First Class Honors, Cezoli, Stanlas, Majimbo, Isekanga, Ajelin, Iziki, Esther, Josephine, Porin, Mwende, Kaduni, Dolkas, Gaki, Kimalo, Nyona, Koech, Kine Judith Mutindi, Koine Martin Mainge, Maburi Daniel Mecha, Mainge Washila Steven, Micha Bran Nyabega, Monda Steven Makoli, Mulei Benson Kiyoko, Mudoni Joseph Kichecha, Mudoni Jos Fadi Mwangi, Mutinda Susan Duku, Dwega Dennis Muremi, Joloke Mary Waidira, Goge Joseph Malenge, Nyaga Rollins Wanyoike, Okumu Gelson Wanjara, Lulaya Johnson Wadulu, Sumiti Kristin Mawia, Waome Simon Kahala, Wawela Liz Murugi. Second class honors upper division. Balasa, Bosile, Chelangat Daisy, Chelangat Sitiene Masi, Chelangat Tabitha, Chepkemoi Abigail, Chepkemoi Salome, Chep Kilui, Chep Koech Faith, Chep Koech Gloria, Chep Koech Masi, Chep Ngetich, Chelono, Chelotich, Devent, Ejikon, Kishuki, Gitao, Ilongo, Jamal, Kamande, Kamal, Kamba, Murethi, Karweza, Katiwa, Kenya, Kelongo, Ketel, Kibarabara, Kimeo, Kingi, Kingoli, Kenywa, Kipkemboi, Kimgeno, Kipruto, Kilui, Kisang, Kideka, Kieng, Koech Eric Kiptanui, Koech Tabitha Jepto, Kosgei, Kwemoi, Langat, Lochunya, Loka, Luswet, Machalia, Makuba, Masisa, Madenge, Boru, Miaka, Miluka, Mungale, Mwaswa, Mwendo, Mugo, Mwilole Samuel Kealie, Mulioki, Musiemi, Mudamia, Mwanzia, Mweo, 
mololo na mai na nyuki dongo nganga golu jeli joroge nyaga nyakeri nyambula nyamwanga nyangala nyangono nyanjoka nzazai nzau ojwang okongi obui onyango otieno lasoa lono lugut luto shijendi duo wafula wagiti waiga wamalwa wambua wagale wajoi welunga wile second class owners lower division abuga achuka atemi chebet chemtai chemoi chepkolil chumba epuke jelop kairiba jepkeboi karuda kalanja kalioki kasu kimaiyo kidena kinoti eh, kipkemoi kipkuri kipkoech kimgeno kiprotich langat kiprotich andru kiprotich asbel bet kipsang kipto kilai kirubi koech kosgei logorot lotolim madayo maitedia maiyo makunyi bogo Mesheni, Mugaka, Morisha, Mose, Mushili, Munyasia, Muloli, Mutembei, Mudoni, Mwangi, Mere Wamboi, Mwangi, Paul, Mashalia, Shabela, Diku, Dilitu, Ngodu, eh, Guratukei, Jilo, Joe, Nyawela, Ochieng, Onyango, Ogik, Okelo, Okich, Onano, Osinyo, Otieno, Primo, Pogishio, Rotich, Duncan, Kiprono, Rotich, Amos, Kimeli, Sila, Soi, Tonui, Wafula, Waboi, Wanzala, Yegon, Ya Light, Pass, Pass, Kadule, Otudo. Please resume your seats and wait for the Sanchala to confer you the degrees. Mr. Chanchala, sir, in the 2021-2022 academic year, the following 102 candidates whom I have the honor to present to you satisfied the Board of Examiners of the Faculty of Environmental Studies and Resources Development and the Senate for confirmation of the respective bachelor's degrees of Chuka University. Bachelor of Hotel Management, first class owners, Idenduka Mary Wakarema, Mwaniki Kennedy Wachira, Ngeno Gradson Koril, Second Class Owners Upper Division, Atieno Gichure, Kanyi Kimani, Maina Yunes, Maina Margaret, Mboga, Buru, Mbuvi, Mwaswa, Murati, Murungi, um, Mutheo, Nyarita, Omari, Wangari, uh, Wangari, second class owners, lower division, Chebet, Cherotich, Gikaru, Gitonga, Macharia, Morua, Moyabira, Jeru, Munya, uh, Nyasani, Onyango, Orende, Otuoma, Peter, Samo, Vunga, Wanyonyi, Pass, Au, Auma, Bachelor of Science in Ecotourism. Second class owners, upper division. Kamida, Morompi, Museti, Mukima, Mustachi, Ngoge, Nyamwea, Okuku. Second class owners, lower division. Kabara, Mugambi, Owino, Thuo. Bachelor of Science in Ecotourism and Hospitality Management. Second class owners, lower division. One boy. Bachelor of Science in Environmental Science. Second class owners, upper division. 
Astandi Divine uh, Astandi Ngoge Second class Honors Lower Division Kimogor Kibiagon Kwambia Joroge Wan Wanjara Bachelor of Science in Natural Resources Management Arisa Kwenyu Maritim Nderu Gaira Omete Wanyoike Bachelor of Science in Web Drive Enterprise and Management Second Class Honors Lower Division Chepken Boy Ondondo Bachelor of Tourism Management First Class Honors Mongai Tese Nyambura, Wamboi Nekoras Ndegwa, Second Class Owners Upper Division, Asiregwa, Cheragat, Katitia, Madenge, Nkangi, Nyo, Monyi, Munene, Muo, Mudahi, Mutahi, Mutua, Mwangi, Ogutu, Opio, Otieno, Ruguru, Wambere. Second class owners, lower division, Agaro, Chemtai, Chem, Chem, Gachukia, Gichoro, Gikanda, Kipto, Kobia, Mulanda, Mwaruma, Ndoro, Ngara, Ngoge, Ngojiri, Obongo, Oro, Titamei, Wanyohi, Wajohi, Viete, Pass, Mo, Monjaru. Please resume your seat and wait for the chancellor to confer to you the degrees. Mr. Chancellor Sa. In the 2021-2022 academic year, the following 532 candidates whom I have the honor to present to you satisfied the Board of Examiners of the Faculty of Humanities and Social Sciences and the Senate for the conferment of bachelor's degrees of Chuka University. Bachelor of Arts, first class honors. John Ruth Kanza, Kiji Lena Karauki, Mutai Gilbert Kikoech, Sifuna Msoka Dalmas. Second class honors, upper division. Akinyi, Cheragad, Chepkemoi, Gideon, Jepkoech, Karuda, Kathomi, Kaibuthu, Kiprotich, Rususoi, Machuka, Makana, Matai, Mugo, Mokami, Munyi, Mse, Mudomi, Mutie, Mutunga, Moria, Dungi, Gungi, Junga, Nyamongo, Omoyo, Ogondi, Oyungu. Second class honors, Rua Division. Chepkoech, Samamuk, Gitao, Gidere, Jepto, Kamutu, Karanja, Juria, Karanja Mary, Kibet, Kimanda, Kipkoril, Kiprono, Kifunzi, Kuria, Rukui, Ledia, Macharia, Maina, Marida, Murau, Mualuko, Muchangi, Mwake, Jiru, Nyagaka, Ochako, Owino, Rika, Waithaka, Wabua, Waboi, Wanjiru, Weleba. Pass. Morema, Mutai. Bachelor of Arts in Kiswahili and Geography, Second Class Honors, Upper Division, Mugambi. Bachelor of Arts, Linguistics and Literature, Second Class Honors, Upper Division, Okomo Wanyama. Second Class, Ro Second class Honors, Rural Division, Nyaga. Bachelor of Arts in Mathematics and Economics, Second Class Honors, Upper Division, Kintet, Kipruto, Rukalo, Miriam, Juguna, Obogo. Second Class Honors, Rural Division, Macharia, Murioki, Msango, Muthui, Mwaura, Dirangu, Getich, Luto, Simiu, Wachera. Bachelor of Arts in Criminology and Security Studies, First Class Honors, Misheni Newton Kenywa, Mwendo Patrick Mutie, Mwangi Mireyan Wairimo, 
Getich Andrew Kiprimo wa Fula Fantastic Wanyama. Second class honors upper division. Abula, Aduma, Bundi, Chembe, Chebet, Chege, Chedangat, Chepkoni, Hinga, Jerei, Kabi, Kaburu, Karanja, Kibet, Kiburu, Kimanzi, Kinywa, Kiprop, Koshal, Liguanani, Liatuma, Maina, Masha, Mchalo, Berumuk, Muguro, Muhuha, Muiruri, Mukuru, Mushu, Mutua, Mwangi, Morambu, Nadele, Duati, Duiga, Jau, Jeri, Ochieng, Javan, Ochieng, Solomon, Oguna, Omondi, Onyango, Ooko, Owol, Corins, Owo, Irene, Rutich, Ruto, Shamara, Simiu, Wamboi. Second class honors, Roa Division, Achieng, Chepkirui, Chepkoech, Kibet, Kipkemei, Kilagu, Rimo, Mainge, Mangori, Masiga, Baka, Morombi. Mpoe, Mtunga, Mwangi, Dilangu, Gu, Nyabuka, Obade. Bachelor of Arts in Economics and Sociology, Second Class Honors, Upper Division. Agunyo, Barasa, Kinywa, Kiprangat, Kiveka, Kivia, Kulia, Maina, Benge, Bogua, Muhonja, Mureivi, Musila, Mwangi, Mwaura, Jeri, Jora, Juguna, Odeo, Orima, Sila, Washila. Second Class Honors, Lower Division. Atieno, Biwot, Chepkirui, Gatimu, Gisaka, Kaino, Kamau, Karaja Kelvin, Karaja Robert, Keboi, Kimwele, Kingo, Koech, Kundu, Rimo, Maina, Mangret, Basi, Botela, Bogua, Meme, Mino, Motali, Mugambi, Mugo, Mwabanga, Mwangi, Mwanzia, Mwaura, Duati, Jage, Joroge, Nzuki, Okoth, Samaya, Thiongo, Waithira, Wajogu, Waroe, Waweru, Werunga, Witao, Pass, Kipto, Maina, Bugua. Bachelor of Arts in Journalism and Mass Communication, Second Class Honors Upper Division, Abdi, Akolo, Agachi, Angote, Chepkemoi, Chepkoech, Cheroben, Gatama, Guahara, Juma, Kageni, Karama, Kamau, Karioki, Kimath, Kimani, Kipkoech, Kirima, Kiroji, Kotek, Maina, Makendi, Maroa, Mathenge, Moto, Muange, Muirore, Murupi, Muringi, Mutiso, Mwangi, Mwende, Dongo, Jogu, Nkola, Ntalagwi, Nduva, Nyabeli, Nyaga. This is KTN. Welcome home. Days when you think, oh, Leona deserve. So order a Glovo. Days when plans in a chelewa. What if you order a Glovo? Glovo, you order, we get it.
Question, which option provides anti-germ protection for your teeth for 12 hours? A, a helmet. B, a bodyguard. C, Colgate Total. 12 hours? You can call a friend. I'd like to call my dentist. Germs are the cause of many dental problems. Colgate Total with zinc and arginine attaches to the teeth like a magnet. Provides 12-hour anti-germ protection. So it is the obvious choice. The answer is Colgate Total. Colgate Total, 12-hour anti-germ protection. <laughs> Do you want to get this song on your phone? Dial star 207 star 80 hash and for 20 shillings only, it's yours. Get this and so much more only on Star Digit. Don't get locked out. Update your SIM registration details as per communication authority requirements. Visit www.safaricom.com forward slash account forward slash KYC dash upload. My Safaricom app or M-Pesa agent near you. Let's go beyond. Simple, transparent, honest. Safaricom for you. Get this song on your phone? Dial star 207 star 80 hash and for 20 shillings only, it's yours. Get this and so much more only on Star Digit. Second class honors upper division, Bet, Kareji, Kibet. Koech, Mwiga, Mwangi, Mwaura, Ginya, Omondi, Otieno, Pose. Second class owners, Rua Division, Mugendi, Nasibi, Joka. Pass, Okiomeli. Bachelor of Psychology, first class owners, Chilo, Kevin Tuje, Kiprotich, Leonard, Mshai, Mganda, Magda, sorry. Second class owners, Upper Division, Anyango, Chepkoril, Gathuya, Kihala, Kwaboka, Makena, Muhambi, Muriuki, Dongo, Gie, Jeru, Okelo, Osole, Sakwa, Wamboi, Wandela, Wanjara. Second class owners, lower division, Gitila, Nyalango, Nyaga. Please resume your seats and wait for the Chancellor to confer you the degrees. Mr. Chang Nsola, sir, in the 2021-2022 academic year, the following 305 candidates whom I have the honor to present to you certify the Board of Examiners in the Faculty of Science, Engineering and Technology and the Senate for confirmation of the respective bachelor's degrees of Chuka University. Bachelor of Science, General, Second Class Honors, Angote, Munene. Bachelor of Science, Basic, Biology option, second class honors, upper division, Irungu. 
Second class honors, lower division, Bambare, Magoro. Chemistry option, first class honors, Mwangi, Kesia, Ditaya. Second class honors, upper division, Angwacha, Limo, Mumimo, Okelo, Tatiro, Wanyonyi. Second class honors, lower division, Cheheji, Kitonga, Kamketi, Kariuki, Mudami, Omondi, Opio, Pass, Okech. Mathematics option, first class honors, Budia, Teresha, Njeri. Second class honors, upper division, Apoko, Josphat, Kipkemoi, Kipropu, Kiprotich, Kiengo, Liboi, Makori, Matiko, Mepukori, Nzola, Okuku, Wanja, Warari. Second class honors, lower division, Barasa, Kidaika, Kimanzi, Kimeu, Kipkoskei, Morara, Muchira, Ndirangu, Wanjiru, Pass, Irungu, Marikwa, Njeru. Physics option, second class honors, upper division, Kichuku, Kanyi, Kiprotich, Kogo, Mukamaj, Nyatenyi. Second class honors, lower division, Chemgeno, Cheriot, Ogola, Osebe, Ouma, Wambui. Bachelor of Science in Actual Science, first class honors, Onyango Andon Obiero. Second class honors, upper division, Chebet, Kengonge, Kasembi, Kiprop, Mose, Njiru, Brian, Mutwiri, Njeru, Peter, Macharia, Otundo, Odiki, Otieno, Shikuku, Simiu. Second class honors, lower division, Chepkirui, Cheriot, Kitonga, Irobiro, Japsagon, Kagaru, Karani, Kimungeno, Mary, Mwai, Njoki, Onyango, Osoro, Samba, Wangari, Pass, Chemweno. Bachelor of Science in Applied Computer Science. First class honors, Chelagat Immaculate, Gitau David Kamau, Mbukwa John Wainaina, Miringu Purit Ruth Njeri, Nyaka Caroline Nyakio, Nyakaka Vera Kwamboka, Second class honors, upper division, Amonga, Asilikwa, Beana, Kasere, Kitai, Gituku, Kwandai, Hassan, Henry, Iravonga, Irungu, Kabei, Kiberenge, Kibeti, Kimani, Kibkemei, Kiblendi, Kiblekitich, Arafat, Kiblekitich, Moses, Kiprotich, Kipto, Kiringa, Kuria, Mahanga, Maingi, Muchina, Muchiri, Munene, Muteti, Mutinda, Madhi, Mwita, Ndengwa, Ndungu, Njenga, Njoroke, Njukuna, Odhiambo, Ochuang, Otako, Otando, Otieno, Brian Ocheng, Otieno, Odhiambo, Brian, Chumba, Shikanda, Ndubi, Wanaina, Wambua, Wanjoi, Second Class Honors, Lower Division, Akoko, Chandwick, Chepkwony, Kaseba, Kithirie, Kitonga, Jomo, Dumba, Kabiru, Kapelo, Karanja, Kariuki, Kipchumba, Kiplangat, Kiptanui, Koech, Koriri, Lawrence, Migunda, Mochengo, Mwima, Munyingi, Mutinda John Muchoki, Mutinda Stephen Mutua, Mwai, Mwangi George Wabirio, Mwangi Joseph Kidinji, Dungu, Nyandeka, Obara, Ombali, Omega, Shayeko, Sitati, Wamalwa, Wambui. Bachelor of Science in Biochemistry. First class honors, Achebi Bonfas. Munene Jackson Kitonga. Second class honors, Upper Division. Kamau, Kamwende, Maikara, Muema, Warungogo. Second class Honors, Lower Division, Odhiambo, Waidira, Wangoi, Pass, Akinyi. Bachelor of Science in Biomedical Science and Technology. Second Class Honors, Upper Division, Ambio, Kipkrui, Kibungetich, Kirugi, Kito, Loinyio, Maina, Makori, Mutua, Naiguso, Ondabu, Owino, Shikoli, Wafula. Second Class Honors, Lower Division, Kipchirichir, Lihemo, Mwende, Papaye, Wambui. Bachelor of Science in Computer Science, First Class Honors. 
Bunde Austin Omondi. Kanini Steven Kioko. Karumba Edward Njogu. Muchira John Mwangi. Mulwa Samuel Mutisho. Musumba Harrison. Mudei Dennis Kariuki. Obaka Clinton Seme. Otindo Steven Omolo. Wambua Jonathan Mutisha. Second Class Honors, Upper Division. Abua, Agai, Ayeko, Bitombo, Mungei, Chemtai. Cheriot, Chirichir, Katari, Katungo, Juma, Kerebo, Kebokero, Kibet, Kirwa, Koskei, Lagat, Mageto, Manywa, Momanyi, Muriki, Muridi, Mutinda, Mutisha, Mutuko, Mwangi Elizabeth Njeri, Mwangi Jeremiah Maina, Njia, Njoroke, Nyachio, Okech, Omoro, Ongaria, Otieno, Robert, Sigei, Sokau, Wambuku, Wangari, Waweru, Sebede. Second Class Honors, Lower Division, Alfani, Gwamba, Irungu, Cherop, Kabaya, Kabuki, Kimadhi, Kipketich, Macharia, Maina, Makori, Muika, Mumo, Murunga, Musau, Mutua, Musami, Giki, Njoki, Njoroke Jesse Mwangi, Njoroke Michael Mungai, Njoroke Peter Kivinch, Ocheng, Okeyo, Omsula, Wanyama, Wadome, Pass, Bakoyet, Gipeti, Nyakiamba, Bachelor of Science in Industrial Chemistry, Second Class Honors, Upper Division, Anido, Kiprotich, Kidei, Kidui, Mukorgi, Murogi, Mwangagi, Nyanje, Omenge, Ouma, Second Class Honors, Lower Division, Kariuki, Naomi, Ndana, Nganga, Okoch, Okero, Wamututi. Please resume your seats and wait for the Chancellor to confer you the decrease. Mr. Chancellor, sir, in the 2021-2022 academic year, the following that seven candidates whom I have the honor to present to you, satisfying the Board of Examiners in the School of Nursing and Public Health and the Senate for confirmation of the bachelor's degree of Chuka University. Ali Cham, Amonjong, Amwom, Chelangat, Chemtai, Cheruto, Jerubet, Kangogo, Karanja, Kasongol, Kate, Kemboi, Kemboi Brian, Kemboi Dennis, Ken, Kenei, Kipchumba, Kipungetich, Kiprotich, Kiptun, Koril, Langat, Manene, Meme, Mugo, Mudoga, Mwai, Nandako, Nasimiu, Nekesa, Nyasetia, Zavila, Ogalo, Ogoti, Okelo, Omweno, Rotich, Ruto, Wanja. Please resume your seats and wait for the Chancellor to confer you the degree. Mr. Chancellor, sir, allow me to call upon all the candidates graduating with the bachelor's degrees of Chuka University to rise and remain standing until the Chancellor has conferred to them the degrees. I hope they are still there. <laughs> that was very lengthy. I admit the person's name to the respective bachelor's degree of Chuka University, for which you have been educated, trained, examined, and qualified, and by my authority and that of the entire university, give to you the power to read and do all that appertains to the degree. Congratulations. Thank you.
Thank you. Mr. Chancellor, sir, allow me to call upon